I think we should be live. Let, let me see. Yo, Jets beating the Cowboys made my Sunday, dog. Oh my god. Don't even know I ain't get me started. <laughs> Are you a Cowboys fan? The team is trash. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was fully expecting the Jets to lose. I was at a wedding too. Bad service. And then the DJ announced over the announcement. It's like, yeah, the Jets. They just beat the Cowboys 24 to 20. I'm like, what? <laughs> That shit was funny as hell. Throw the whole, throw the whole team away, man. <laughs> they finally might be able to fire Jason Garrett now. Uh, hopefully. All right, we live, we live, we live. Yo, shout out to everyone tuning into the podcast. We just getting started. We getting everything together. Butch, thank you for the early donation. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it real, y'all, man. It's dry, <laughs> yo. It's dry as shit out here, bro. <laughs> It's dry as shit out here, but we're going to make it where we got a few topics to discuss today. Um, we got some new faces on Press Our Podcast for the first time, so I appreciate them coming through. We're going to go ahead and um, do the introductions. We're going to start off with our guest. We got FC Violence. Say what up. What's going on, people? What's going on, man? Appreciate the invite. It's FC Violent. Dope, dope, dope. Um, you were telling me earlier you got a podcast. You want to plug that in? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, so I got a podcast called Vitamin G Gaming Podcast. It's on Monday. Starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. Definitely. Y'all yeah, go check that so out. If like, yeah. So if you like, if you like uh, multi, like multi platforms, multi console stuff like that, that type of gaming talk. Yeah, just check us out. My All mic right. loud. Last time you said my mic too quiet. So let me know when it's <laughs> just right. All right. And uh, we got our another guest. Um, super average. Say yeah, what's, what's up. Good, what's good. Appreciate you for having me, man. Where you get that name from? Man, uh, I actually went through like a little identity crisis when I was trying to get on the internet, but ev eventually I just went with Super Average because I'm really good at games, but I'm not like, I'm like just under pro level, I would say that. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I like that, throw the, throw the people off, you know, just call yourself Average, you come back and be smoking man, so I feel you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we got the cast, if anyone new is watching, we're going to start off with Jack. Hello everyone, I hope everyone's having a good week. Uh... Yeah, I, it ain't shit been going on, man. No, Yo, the energy's down, man. Why it's not been going down, on, man. man. I, I gotta, Yo, I gotta, like, I gotta, oh, man's looking depressed. Like, what's yeah, going on? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. We, we gonna get down into it. Down today, we man. Like, we, we gonna get, through get it. it. We gonna get into it. Woo, <laughs> that's good. Alex, man, bring some energy to the podcast, man. Oh, These men's looking let's, spooky let's... out here, man. Go ahead, man. Say, say, say PlayStation's Red... trash or some, bro. Like, let's get man's riled up or something. You know what I mean? I thought, I thought people didn't want to play old games. Mm, we're oh, gonna talk man. about that. We're gonna talk about that. Here we oh, go. Man. And you know what I thought? I <laughs> we thought, don't. I thought PlayStation was the best place to play, but when I saw this Red Dead Two trailer today for PC, <laughs> oh, get him! <'em. laughs> Are they oh, in a new man. trailer? Line? Do you see that? This stuff is looking oh, yeah. real spooky today. Let me go look at that. I ain't see that. Real. Spooky. I only watched it on my phone. I didn't even see that join in 4K. I'm about to look at that right now. I didn't even see that. And God of War 2018 is mid. Mm. You a damn liar. <sighs> Like I was I was watching that stream, Alex. I said it. Are right, you, you was getting your fucking spooky. cheese you know clapped, dog? That's you know, you know what? Yo, let's 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 finish up the introductions, Ooh. and we'll get you know to Alex's take on God of War because he is playing it for the first time, and I want to get his um thoughts on it really quick. Um, but J Main, say what up to the people. Oh, uh, what's going on, everybody? J Main back checking in with the podcast. I ain't gonna be here for the whole show, so I got about an hour of y'all. Um, but yeah. Oh, baby, it's happening. Podcast <laughs> might only be an hour long, dog. Bro, this shit might be an hour long today, bro. This shit is looking spooky right now. Man. But yeah, I hope everybody's having a good week. And let's get into it, man. God damn, this trailer looking crazy. Bro, this shit look. What the fuck? Mm. Oh, I got to check it on that one. Oh, man, yeah, this shit, is, this shit do look crazy. I can't. Yeah. Are you looking at the Red Dead? Yeah, yeah I'm looking at it on my yeah, TV. Right yeah, that's that shit's crazy. All right, so that's everybody. You miss anybody? So press our podcast episode 127. Um, welcome to the podcast. Podcast is on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, all of that good shit. Big shout out to Novocaine um, for taking charge of that. You know, putting the podcast on that because you know if it's up to me, you know that should be taking weeks. So shout out to Novocaine for that. For all the people who oh, listen to the know, podcast, okay, holding that down. so he's holding it down. Appreciate it. You know, my panel man's won't even want to do it, so Nova Kane decided to hold it down. Oh, so I appreciate man. it. I can't even get here on time. You want me to put up a show on time? <laughs> Please. Yeah. Coach be like, "Yo, where the topics at, J Man?" It'd be like seven thirty and shit. Yeah, all right. <laughs> like, also, make sure you guys 
check out the Press Our Podcast Patreon. We set a goal. A lot of y'all uh, been asking us to play a little game called Gang Beast or mm. something like that. Oh, so yeah. uh, you guys say it's fun. So help us hit that goal. We're, gonna, uh, we're almost there, actually. So help us hit that. Then we're going to do that live stream for you guys. You're about to get these hands of Gang Beast, Kofi. I haven't I played it before. I about to say Gang Bang. I'm about to like, yeah, I know. It's a little too Wait, close. Yo. It's a little too close. You, you. You <laughs> X-rated <laughs> Patreon like shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's when you got to play Mount Your Friends. Oh, all right, we good. Oh, no, we good. See, you is that the one that there, no. <laughs> left? No, there took it left. No, there's a game called Mount Your Friends. Yeah, isn't it the one like you're grabbing like niggas' testicles or some shit like that? What's going you on? You think about General Jalston? Oh, okay, no. there's that one. Okay. No, Mount Your Friends is a real game. You got to climb other people to get to the top. Is part, like the top. Oh, okay. Don't think I got like dick physics or some shit. It does have dick physics. <laughs> I've seen, I seen that game. For, nah, we not playing that. Boy. I've seen that. Boy. Nah, <laughs> it's a game out. just like this that I seen kind of funny playing. Um, but it wasn't this because I, I just pulled this up and it definitely got dick physics. Though we out. Huh? Swings. It swings like this and it's, yeah, we out. We off that. Wow. All right. Back to, back to Red Dead Trilogy. All right, yo. So Alex, okay, you've been playing God of War. You know, yes. everyone's been waiting to hear your thoughts on God of War 2018. You've been doing a little series, um, streaming series, playing all the yes. God of Wars for the first time. So what do you think mm -hmm. of God of War 2018 before we, you know, continue with the podcast? I, um, What's your I thoughts? Wrote some, I wrote some notes. Hold on. This guy wrote, wrote notes. Them. Man, came prepared. Okay, them. I see you, bro. Uh, I said, the game looks good graphics-wise. Okay. Uh, there are moments where Kratos will look best, but everything else around him will look kind of muddled and slightly off. Okay. Mm. Um, the frame rate is... It's not good. Mm. You playing at the um the unlock frame rate? You doing performance? Both. I did both. I did performance, and I started getting like really weird hitches when I would turn the camera, mm -hmm. and then I would lock it into like thirty FPS, and I still got hitches when I was turning the camera. So I don't think it's good at all. Um, in the frame rate mode, the field of view is fucking garbage in this fucking mm. game. It's absolute fucking trash. The, okay. The, it should be pulled back more so you can actually see enemies around you. You don't because like the indicator. Board, you don't like the whole indicator mechanic. I That's not, what I was about to I say. I do not like the indicator mechanic. I think that the indicator mechanic is bullshit. Um, okay. Because there's there's a time delay between when the indicator turns red where you're going to get attacked to when you actually do get attacked. So there's never like it's never like it's red. You should dodge now. It's it's red. You got a chance. Hold on, and then you get hit. Um, so the indicator mechanic is garbage. It should be. A farther field of view so you can see the combat uh i like the combat so far it's serviceable i haven't really gotten too deep with it so i'm not going to say anything else about that That's and i fair. think that the interaction between kratos and atreus is forced as fuck mm. um it like atreus kills a fucking deer he kills a bunch of other shit you kill droggers the whole time and then the second that you kill a regular person it's like oh oh my god i do, i don't know what to do I don't know what I'm you know what alex bad. we're not we're on the block like you know you're getting your cheeks pushed in so you know that's why you hit another game bro like that's that's, 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 that's word on the block yo it's just true alex where you getting your cheeks pushed in that's why you're hitting on god so, word, man. so hard games aren't a problem with uh, the, did i say anything about the difficulty <laughs> no 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 i didn't i didn't did i so maybe you should stop swallowing soda. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Fam, but yo, okay. during that stream, every time Alex was like, oh, this game is easy. Yeah, he started getting killed. He yeah. started getting his ass cracked. <laughs> I was like, yo, so really like stop saying the word easy, dog. That shit's making really me funny crazy. Because I was, I was, I, so the combat, I, I, I have to, I'm so, so here's a problem with me in the combat. I played f six God of War games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six but God of War damn. games before this one. I tried to play this game like God of War, and you mm. don't. You know, yeah, it's to totally play, different, bro. It's, it's totally different. You have different. to play like Dark Souls. So I had to like, I'm trying to reprogram myself to not play it like God of War. I have to play it like Dark Souls. I didn't say it's bad, it's but different. I just, it's different, yeah. right? Now, maybe playing six God of War games and playing Astral Chain and thinking maybe Astral Chain's a better fucking game-wise. I've seen that tweet. Mm. I seen that too. You know, I think at this point, like I actually looked in the comment section and it seemed pretty civil in there. I think like at this point, like people are kind of expected of what you're gonna say at this point. It's like, oh, Alex is just being Alex. So I, it's not like I don't think you get the reaction like you well, used it's not to. Like Alex, getting a you know? reaction, I think people are finally realizing like I don't hate Sony games. I'm just critical of every game. And I think people just got really upset when I was critical about the games that they love. And look, you don't need me to validate your game purchase. If you like a video game, you like a video game. 
but I'm going to give you my honest opinion about something. And if you don't like it, that's fine. You can move on. You can get mad and tweet at me. And then I'm going to make fun of you. And then you're going to get mad and block me. And that's cool, right? Mm -hmm. But to try and get validation from me, like, like during the stranger fight, I thought the stranger fight wasn't as good as people made it out to be. I thought that it lacked a lot of important structure that you're going to need later on. I think when, when you're prob I'm probably going to fight them later on in the game. Am I wrong? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think when there's more storyline developed with the stranger and you and Kratos, it'll be a better fight. That's pretty much, like, I thought it was just pretty simple. It was a three-stage fight. It wasn't anything too crazy. Some pretty good set pieces. But there are fights in the older God of War games that are way better than that fight. Most of the other, uh, I, would, I would agree. I would agree, that. That. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. I'd say, I'd say the fights, majority yeah. of God of War games, of the older God that. of War games, had better fights than The Stranger. And another thing, where's the brutality? Where's the yeah. violence? Yeah, I have noticed. Where's I can't. That's one thing I would. That's, God there. Way more that's one thing I would. I would agree with Alex too a little bit there. This God of War is a lot. You know, not as violent as the previous one. It it really it is. is it is. It is incredibly it really subdued. Is. It oh, is incredibly I don't. I don't subdued. agree with that. You know, right, so let's he, hear. He's, let's hear. he's ripping people in half. He's you know punching you know, people out. You know, out. You know what it is? He's hacking, Jamie, throwing like axes and heads and shit. Like you know that, what it is? Jamie? in half. Like I don't. What's up? I think because the enemies that you fight in the game, so it's not as a apparent because you were fighting like olympians and yeah, you're shit. fighting skeletons bro. yeah you're finding like a lot of like tree <laughs> yeah. figures and all sorts of shit right so i think that's why i think that's why in old god of war i fought giant mm. fucking snakes i fought giant fucking goats i fought giant fucking centaurs i fought skeletons i fought zombies and i was able to rip motherfuckers in half fucking put spears in their fucking heads fucking make them eat their own fucking yo shit. jack don't give me no bullshit. What was that enemy? That um, the like the werewolf looking one. You remember what it's called? That execution Where, was Minotaur? brutal. That was probably like the oh, most you brutal talk, execution know, I've seen in the game. The one that he like. I forgot their name. I forgot their name. You know what I'm talking uh, about? That execution. Yeah, the one right? you, were, you like ripped their jaw. Off, yeah, now nah, that was crazy shit. Like that's like. I forgot what the enemy word. name is. I know what you're talking about though. Yeah. You said the wolf looking one. You said yeah. yeah. You remember the execution? The Minotaur, I think you're talking about. No, 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 no. He talking about it in the new game. Oh, oh, there's a new one? Okay. Oh, yeah. Like, so so here's my thing. People like, are in the chat saying the wo games. Wolvers, I believe how you pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, Wolver. That's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That execution Wolver. is brutal. Like, that reminded me like old right. school kind of God of War when you pulled the man's like mouth off and shit. That shit yeah. was crazy. So in the old God of War games, I think you had like three different execution types oh, where okay. every time you grabbed them or something like that. It was it was always something different. You could split them in half. You could, you could smash them on the ground. You could do something. Now it's the same animation all the time, and it gets kind of boring. Um... Is God of War a good game? Probably. Am I enjoying it? Eh, it's all right. Mm. All right, there we go. We got Alex break down. I think I think th I think three is the best one. So I actually agree with that though. Like three is my still yeah, my favorite I one. Three is the oh, best. No, no, three no, is no, my no, favorite no. one. And don't twenty eighteen jurors, Jack. And, and, and I got the, the platinum in twenty eighteen too. I don't want to interrupt Kofi, but I gotta okay. do this. And don't come at me calling yourself a PlayStation fan and a God of War fan <clears> if you ain't played the PSP games, because the PSP God of War games are some of the best God of War games. Okay, that's a fact. So I can agree with that. that. I can agree with that. Mm. But three, is the best. <laughs> three, three, in my opinion, is the Three's best the God best. of War. But I think we had this conversation before, so let's just move on with more current <clears throat> topics. So that was Alex's take on God of War. Um, let's talk about um. <laughs> Death Strand. Yo, hold up. I just saw in the chat, Alex is making good points, but finding dumb reasons to hate it. If I'm making good points, they're not dumb reasons, you fuck nuggets. Like, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. You dumb bitch. <laughs> we let's stay okay. Let's, let's talk about Death Stranding, though, you know? Mm, let's mm. talk about Death Stranding, because... Oh, jeez. It's out in the wild, baby. You guys, about oh. Let me get my pillow. Oh, uh, <laughs> Jack, you too? You too. All right, so you, so you gonna get the smoke? Uh, look, listen. All I got to uh, say to the people watching this podcast, make sure you guys tune in to Press Start Podcast about, hold the hold week. Up. The reviews come out for Death Stranding. We're actually moving oh, our well, podcast. I'm ready for Death Stranding too. Yo, Hell we, no, I got the Amazon box and everything. I'm <laughs> okay, you see what I'm saying? Oh, we, we ready to go, you know what I'm saying? Oh. We're moving the podcast. Because po the podcast that week is on October 31st. We're moving the podcast to, to Friday, November 1st, when the reviews come out. So we can talk about it while it's fresh. Because, you know, it's a pretty big deal. You've been following this podcast for a while or just following me on Twitter. And, you know, it's been a lot of back and forth exchanges with certain people in the gaming community. And, you know, we're going to we're gonna finally see what's up um, November 1st 
when the reviews drop at the game. So a lot of L's will be taken, will be mm. given out. It's going to be a good time. So make sure you guys tune in to that specific podcast, especially I'm going to have a lot of guests for that. It's going to be really entertaining. <sighs> I, I, Go are, you, are you the only cat that, that's actually looking forward to the game? No, no I am too. <laughs> no, actually, it seemed like it, right? It's, no, I'm looking forward to it, man. I have high expectations. Hopefully, you know it, it delivers. Did, did you have like a fond memory in your childhood building, like building like castles and shit with? You know, cardboard? Is that what it is? you know what it is. Jack Jack says because I deliver shit, you know, for work. So that's uh, my I, I, I got some personal it. attachment to this game, which is not I true. See. <laughs> <laughs> Man's yeah, getting real life experience out here. Yeah, so Jack, what are you saying? I, I know how this is going to play out. Right? How's it going to play okay. out? Let's see this. This Break is what's going to happen. This is mm-hmm. what's going to happen. On November first, Death Strand is going to get glowing reviews. Okay. Yeah. It's going to have a very high Metacritic. Ha <laughs> ha. You, you're going to be giving BGLs, right? It's going to sell well. Okay. But I think when the game hit the masses, a lot of people aren't going to like it. Like I just think it's going to be like you know, I think it's going to be very popular game sales and review wise. But I think. The majority of people in this community gonna be shitting on it still. That's how I think so, it's gonna uh, play out. Uh, I, so, so I don't what think you're so. telling me is the majority of the community doesn't know what good games are. You got it. Okay. I, <laughs> hey, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Snap. But here's, here's know. my problem, Jack. Right. Also, oh, I see so many people defend video games that I say aren't good, but then the first thing they do is show me Metacritic scores. Indeed. So then, so then if they think a game isn't good, but I turn around and show them like a ninety something. That you can use that. I, you could definitely use the Metacritic. I, I'm just I saying, see, you, like I'm, niggas I'm pick saying, and choose I'm when to I, I'm, what I reviews. You know what I'm saying, nah, Jack? That should, niggas that pick and work in choose, here. bro. I'm not I'm in pick here, and choose. Man. My mic low. I'm the first to tell you, fuck a Metacritic score. Bro, people I'm pick and choose when it's convenient to bring out their point whether Metacritic matters or not, bro. This shit is so Did y'all annoying, go to bro. This weekend? Oh going my to church yeah. church, the church of Kojima. All right, so church super so super average. Have you been paying attention to Death Stranding or have you been looking? Yes, at... yes, what do you think? What do you think? I mean, I'm with uh, I'm with Jack on this one. Woo! I feel like I mean, it it, it looks. <laughs> I mean, yes, the uh, Kojima has a great track record, but okay. Bioware had a great track record Ooh, and facts. Mm, good point. Good point. Uh, point. Okay. So. I don't know, you know. I, I, I mean, I'm, a, I'm gonna play it anyway. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a chance. You know, it's gonna be one of those games that you gotta try for yourself. You can't really listen to anybody else. Mm. Yeah, I, I guess, like, yo, I guess, like, when That's the game drops, we're really gonna know what's up. Cause I feel like, I feel like there's so much shit that we don't know. I feel like there's so much shit that we don't know still that yeah. you know is about this game in terms of like story and even like shit that just shit to experience. So, and you know, I just think I just have faith in you know. Um, Kojima Productions and that they're gonna deliver a good game. That's just me. But I could be totally wrong. This shit could be trash. And if it's trash, it's trash. I'm gonna come out here like a man, claim my L. You know what I mean? Might run to Cali for two weeks, let shit cool off. Oh. You know what I mean, JV? I'm about, I'm about to go to Cali for two weeks, let shit like, cool yeah, off. Yeah, come back. Yeah, yeah, come back. Spontaneous and back. trip. You know what I mean? I'm about to take a spontaneous trip if this shit, you know, flop yeah. somehow. But you know what I mean? But I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be good. You know, I'm Which a man, so I'm, I'm gonna. I'm going to take my L like a man. I'm going to take it on the chin. You know, homo, bro. I'm going to take it on the chin, bro. <laughs> you know, the famous social media uh, uh, question is what y'all mad about today. So, we, you know, the death strand and slander only lasts for a couple days. And you come back to the come timeline. Back. Come back. Hey, you know what I mean? We'll be talking about something else, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So, have you been seeing the tweets, though, from people that have it already? Yeah, but see, this is where it's a little confusing. Like, mm, um, sound like- reviews, reviews from death stranding have been going now, which is... Pretty, uh, copies, pretty right? crazy. Think about it. The game is coming out in about a month's time, three weeks, right? Yeah, like three mm-hmm. weeks. That, yo, the review copies are out pretty damn early. I'm not saying this is unheard of, but this is not the norm for reviewers to be getting copies this early. Like reviewers have been getting copies since like maybe two days ago. So that's pretty crazy. And the embargo lifts November first, seven days before the game releases. So it seems like niggas are pretty confident about this game. You know, but also it seemed like they were definitely choosy on who they chose to get this game to, dog. Because it's some people that I really expected to get it, and I'm like, hold up, you ain't get a copy. Like you've been, you've been covering like this game. Like I think for- the, the major outlets got it though. Like I know, like nah, I seen I a mean, tweet from like Colin Moriarty, but that might no, be like, 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 a whole. Robbie Gaming usually game. get every like Sony game. Oh yeah, like, Robbie Gaming. He's, he's done Robbie. like four or five like hour long videos on this game and everything, and they ain't sending him one. <laughs> Yo, but no, this no, is. No. 
But this is better. But think about this. Do you guys remember how the review game process went for Metal Gear Solid Five? How Konami flew no. out like a select few to play yeah. the yeah. review. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, that was, so that's this, Konami. <laughs> that, that, but that was you, Konami. You, you see what I'm saying? But you that see was, this, this situation is a lot different too. They're giving. They're like, yo, here's the game. Play it. So I, I don't know, man. I think they're confident about this. I think I think we're going to deliver, man. That's what I think. But I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Amen. But where where are you getting your excitement from? I'm I'm just honestly just, just <laughs> That's I'm, I'm, I'm trying I'm trying you know I'm trying I'm trying to like honestly honestly feel the same wave as you as Alex. I just don't understand it, bro. Why am why am I excited for first of all for the creator behind the game? Number one, you know. Okay, all right. That's so number so, one. So, number two, okay. I'm liking the cast as well. Okay. I'm liking um the direction where the game is going, where it's something new that I haven't played something like it. Cause like I think we all could attest if we have been play we we all been playing games for a long time. Every game starts to get a little dry, you know, like since like rinse true, and repeat. True. This at least is experimenting with new ideas and new gameplay mechanics that we haven't played before. So that itself to me personally is exciting. Playing something new that we haven't really played a game like this before. You know what I mean? Um that's why I'm mostly excited for this game, um, for those um, exact reasons, you know, like Kojima, it seems like we're actually getting a new original story, you know, new themes that haven't been explored in a game before, stuff like that, the subject matter and stuff like that, you know, gameplay mechanics looks different, new, something like I've never seen before, and, you know, the graphics obviously look fantastic, and it just looks appealing to me, and I fuck with the cast, you know, Norman really is, I fuck okay. with the cast and the vision, so we're going to see, though. We're going to see how it turns out. And all I know is just going to be pure entertainment when the game releases, though, and when the reviews drop, pure entertainment. Yo, if, it's, <laughs> if, it, if it starts hitting these really high scores on Metacritic, oh, my God. You know, okay. Did y'all did y'all like Metal Gear Solid Five? Yes. I, I no. liked it, even though, even though you know, the later parts of the game was disappointing on how it turned out. But uh, overall, the game was still like a great game. Okay, though. Kofi, you never played the originals. Okay, I know. Oh, you did? You did? I, Ale but yeah. Alex, I thought he did. I know. No, no, I never played no. the the first one. That's why he's saying that. And the, the oh, that first, I, I, I played two, you? three, four, five. Okay. Piece wise, I was like, you played all of them. Right, one. you played it. You played the one. Okay. That's no, good. but the thing is, five doesn't have to do anything with the solid games. Five no. is directly tied to Metal Gear, the MSX games. See, so that's story. why. That's why he's so impressed. Uh, I'm, uh, with a lot it. of people. But I'm just saying. Though. But I'm just saying. A lot of people haven't played no Metal Gear X. Or yeah, I ain't never. I'm just. I'm just saying. But that's. But that's why five is like the. What makes five so good is that it fills all those gaps between that and Solid, and that it makes Solid even more impactful. Yeah, I never played like, Metal Gear X. There's only. I never played the very first one. I never played Metal Gear X, but I played every other Metal Gear game. And the Metal Gear Two on the MSX is. Probably one of the best Metal Gear games, period. Yeah, I think most people, I think most people are cabin who say they played that shit. Most people haven't played that shit. They haven't, no. and, but, but it's, on the, it's on the legacy. Play. I think because, I think, yeah, yeah, Alex, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, why yeah. you're saying that and like you prop Metal Gear Solid 5, which is a great game. I agree, it's a great it's game. A but I think game. you prop, I think there's, there's I think, a lot of problems with it. I think you prop it up because you like the connection, how it ties into, you know, yeah. the, that's why, you know, you fuck with it. But the gameplay loop in the chapter two and shit does get like, you know, like yeah. it's kind of fucked up. They kind of fucked up there. But after the learning the backstory about how that game is and how it ended up turning out, it's still like, yo, the game is still a great game. You know what it's, I mean? It, tell me more about what you mean with the gameplay loop, because that's different. That could mean different. Like replay mission, like, like replay missions. Okay. So there was six missions that you would replay. And those missions are not part of the, of the actual needy to completion. Those should have been side op missions because they were labeled as like CSV and other stuff like that. Like that was nowhere near needed to even like do in order to complete the story. So you could skip those altogether. I think those should have been bonus missions to redo. So that way that would have been easier for people to see like, oh, I don't have to do these. Mm -hmm. And then some side mission missions should have been main missions too. So I think that that was an issue with that. But mm -hmm. I also didn't like the microtransaction stuff. I thought that was bullshit. And I thought that the... Um, Sending missions out for your squad members wasn't as good as it was in Peace Walker. I think Peace Walker did it better. That whole mother base um shit was dope to me. That whole gameplay yeah. shit, that shit was really you know fun yeah. to build up and stuff like that. So I actually enjoyed Metal Gear Solid Five a lot. J Man, you said you didn't fuck with Metal Gear Solid Five. You didn't like it? Nah, man. I mean, I, I played it and then I don't Dropped know. I just it? wasn't. I wasn't digging the whole open well the open world like gameplay to it i just wanted to get to the mission areas and that's where okay. i had the most fun, so, so you wanted it to be a little bit more a stealth game linear, linear, yeah you know okay mm -hmm. i see i see 
Because uh, it, it control is great. Like the gameplay is fantastic in that game. Like I love the the gunplay and shit like that mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. So I named the podcast Clout Tokens today because I, I do want to talk about this. Is um certain developers, you know, especially with Kojima, people are already saying that this game is gonna get high reviews just based off you know you know Kojima's behind it regardless. But and they're saying do not trust reviewers. So I just want to talk about this subject a little bit more like so how do you guys feel about people saying that and you know looking at other games or other developers like naughty dog rockstar you know certain nintendo ips which get this sort of um acclaim too so how do you guys feel about that jack uh well first of all i do agree with that there are certain and you just named pretty much all certain people earn that fucking cloud it just is what it is so kojima nintendo Naughty Dog and uh, what was the other one you said? Those are Rockstar. 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 When 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 these companies release games, they just guaranteed not to dip under a certain because you know they produce quality. So if yeah. you see if you see one of their games get under a ninety, you're gonna be looking at that like, what the fuck happened? Like, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. they did they earned, but they earned it though, right? But there is a bias. But they earned, like it's just they earned it. So when Michael Jackson came out with an album, motherfuckers ain't like uh, people gonna. Go into it with a body. That's Michael Jackson. Like he 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 got that right. So mm-hmm. yeah, I don't got a, I don't have an issue with it. It's just it is what it is. Mm-hmm. It just should be understood. It's known. It's a known entity in the gaming community that when these certain individuals release shit, it's probably gonna be a banger, and it's probably just gonna have that you know that prestige. Mm-hmm. So so FC Valley media bias then exists then. I mean yeah. yeah, I mean technically it does just because of the, you just mentioned the clout. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have a certain type of biases towards a certain developer. Like, yeah, like I asked you, like, why why is Death Stranding um, like <clears throat> exciting for you? And you just mentioned the developer. That was the first thing you said out of your mouth was the developer. Mm, definitely. Then you definitely. said the cast, and then and then what he could take this game too. So you already had a, a developer bias towards this game, even though for me, looking at the game, I'm like, this shit look boring as hell. Like, you know what I mean? But like, <laughs> just being honest with you, it looks, yeah, yeah, it looks dry. Cool, that opinion. It's fine. So so that's why I asked you. So you. And I guess, I guess in my sense, I guess I have a little biases towards it. Like, man, the game looks boring. So I expect it to be a boring game. But then in the same way, it's Kojima. And I even I know that Kojima, being Kojima and the games that he has uh, produced and made, it, you know, his anticipation towards those games is going to be higher. I mean, it's just going to be reviewed critically, like all of his games have. So in the sense, there's a little bit of media bias. But it's, it's, it's warranted until it's not, like Bioware. Yeah. How about, yeah. How, how do you feel, Super Average? exactly like the other two um there's definitely a bias but like i said earlier that's why i feel like you have to try it yourself but i'm going in it uh with the open mind like i it does look hella boring but i mean it's kojima and he also said that it's something that hasn't been made before so i'm like i'm i'm, I'm kind of excited too but it's definitely a bias to something you just got to try it yourself and just block out everybody else mm-hmm. alex um i think the one thing people forget is that these companies have lasted multiple generations and in Mm -hmm. each of those generations they've put out excellent games so i think that's been earned yeah Um, and whether or not you know you like the game that they come out at that certain time i think that natural hype does build up for those games because they've had a long track record of making games like that um until they don't like bioware until they just totally shit the bed um I think it's fine to get hype for games. Just don't don't get too hype, right? Like learn how to pull it back a little bit and realize like it's just a video game, right? I'm going to enjoy it and that's going to be fine. But is there a media bias? Um, I think what happens a lot in reviews especially is that outlets will either inflate scores dependent upon the potential backlash that you'll get from the community. Mm. So Call of Duty is a perfect example. That game will constantly always get nines and tens, even though three months Same later, game. boom, everyone hates that fucking Call of Duty. Okay. Um, or or <clears throat> things like that. Or like Zelda, <clears throat> which one? Not Wind Waker. Um, the Wii one. Uh, Wayward Sword. Wii, Skyward Sword. Um, Skyward Sword. Yeah, Skyward, yeah. They, you know, people were like, this game isn't a 7.6, it's a 10. And it's like, motherfucker, you haven't played it yet. 
<laughs> did, I, did I get good reviews? Did Skyward Sword? I didn't play it. That's like one of the few Zelda games too. Like there's a got, handful of Zelda games I never played. In like, in like the seven Let me even check. Stuff it. like that. And people were just going nuts in the comment section. Like you haven't played the game. What do you know? So it's uh, it's interesting to see. If you're going to look at reviews, um, I think you should look at Matthew Matosis. That guy does fucking unbelievable reviews. His reviews are like, Usually two or three parts, and they're like forty-five minutes each part. Jesus, God wow. damn! I'm good. The guy, the guy, I'm yeah, good. Right. <laughs> I'm good. telling you, the guy. Point of playing the game after that. Shit. Okay. The guy literally goes in and he breaks doing down tips and like, tricks. Like, <laughs> like, wise, like why things are this way and what they can do to change them. They're really good. Damn. Um, yeah, I follow ATG. Thing, like, you gotta pick. You gotta pick a reviewer that ACG's has the good. same sort of taste that you have, and then you'll be like, okay. They like this because of these things, so I like those things too. So that makes sense. But that's okay. pretty much like that's what I think you should do. Yeah, like I agree with Jack. Jack's point. Like I feel like these guys have earned it, the benefit of the doubt. You know. Yeah. And like what Alex said, until they flop, like Anthem. You know, Bioware makes Anthem, mm. and that's it's a dud. You know what I mean? But they, Naughty mm. Dog definitely gets the benefit of the doubt. I'm pretty sure. Um, Naughty Dog will come out today and announce that they're working on a new IP. Then all of a sudden, people are excited to see that new IP. They haven't seen shit. They don't know what it is. They're automatically just hyped. I'm pretty sure people are hyped for the next GTA 6, and they haven't seen shit. Don't know anything about it. But, you know, after <laughs> playing, you know, GTA across many generations, you already know what's up with those type of games. So these guys are mm, earned that You see what you of, said right there? Hold on. You see right, what you said right there? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. You see what you said right there? What did I say? After playing GTA for the past how many years, okay. you know what to expect. Mm -hmm. This is a new IP, so we don't know what to well, expect. Okay, but and we what played he's, what his he's shown. Time. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. And what he's shown <laughs> looks boring already. <laughs> so coming out the game, <laughs> you're going to get this smoke. Shit look trash. All right, good, yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> That's, I think that's the point that people are trying to drive home with this whole. Kojima and the point I'm trying to drive like, home too is like, let niggas be excited for or like people's pedigree. Like, you know what I mean? Like, niggas put out quality shit. Like, I would understand if like, man's put out like trash games, you know. But like, all like his games have been fired at, that you put out. So you know. No, nah, I, so. I, I don't trust nobody, man. My my, tr I got trust issues, dog. Uh, bullshit, <laughs> I bear you, bro. Bullshit, trust, bro. Trust, trust issues. <laughs> but yeah, Death Stranding reviews are out in the wild. So um. <sighs> Hopefully we spoiler get some. Spoiler threats. Yeah, be careful for I ain't spoilers. Going front. I dipped into one of them, but I ain't see shit. <laughs> you ain't see nothing good? Nah, I ain't see nothing. Anyone call the shit like, trash? Nah, nobody <laughs> calling the trash. Actually, everybody in there that kind of talked about it was like, y'all not ready for it. Like, could you really believe a Kojima spoiler, though? No. Like, think, that's, like, think about that's it. That's why like, when think, I was reading like, half the shit, I'm it. like, hold up. Is this even like... Could you even... A, like, a even if you read the spoiler, could you be like, oh, man. But you'd be like... <laughs> one like, of the things like I making read, it up, like, you'd be like, that could happen, right? That's what I said. One of the things I read, it was like, this makes sense, but it's like, could this even be like missing? You gotta wait. Himself? You gotta wait. Yeah, you gotta wait to play play the game because you already know there's gonna be some twists in that game. You, you tweaking, you don't. Yo, there's gonna be some real twists when it comes to story and that shit. So we already know. But let's yeah. move on to um, uh, Fortnite. <laughs> you know, Fortnite oh. was catching a lot of traction on Twitter because. You know, they turned awesome. off the server for like what a day or two or something like that. I think and it's like forty yeah. some hours. Forty some yeah, hours, and it made yeah. you know their fans look at a butthole for like. Uh, a minute. <laughs> Whoa, you know? that's what you call black holes. Right. Ain't nothing wrong. Eat with a nigga that. ass or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. So they came out with Fortnite Chapter Two. So I'm not a big Fortnite player. So um, super average. You know, any, you play Fortnite. Yeah, I used to be like half a pro Fortnite when it first released, but um, man, that game ain't going nowhere as far as popularity. They keep doing the right stuff as far as marketing and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I played the chapter two. It's, it's, I mean, if you like Fortnite, you'll like this, but if, if you don't like Fortnite, you ain't coming back to it. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sick of it, but it ain't going nowhere. So is this chapter two pretty much the same shit, just a different map? Like, is there, are they doing anything new with it or what's going you on could. with it? You can you can swim, swim right, so and they got motor boats. Yeah, they got, they got oh, okay. you can swim, motor boats, and you could throw. You could, the best part is you could just throw people that's down. Like if you down somebody, you could grab them, you just throw them. Can't you like okay. you could fish for guns now or some shit? I seen somebody doing. Yeah, but it just yeah, seems a whole it. bunch of corny shit. Like me, Fortnite. Like yeah, yeah, I, exactly. I, I don't know, man. Like it's not. Oh, it for has me. upgrade benches too. It's upgrade not benches. for me uh, personally. I've tried it out. <clears> um, 
it's just not for it's not my demographic type of game you know clearly they're they're after um the younger guys with that with this whole little marketing scheme turning their shit off was pretty smart i'm pretty sure you that know, was pretty good. We all they knew. They even got we Lady all, Gaga to tweet about that shit. We all knew yeah. what, what's going on, you know. Like, we all personally knew, but, you know, you can imagine the younger kids probably like, oh, my Fortnite <laughs> is down. They, they, they probably my Fortnite is down. You know, I'm surprised probably, my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting. What, what am I going to play? <laughs> no, kids right? start going to school. So the shit. kids are talking right. about it in school. Like, yo, you see this Fortnite shit? So they're very smart for that because that marketing will work mm. for children and yes. it will drive a lot of hype for them. Like, Fortnite's down. Because I did go to my bro's house. And my brother has a switch as well. My 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 nephew came up and showed me like, look what's happening with Fortnite. It's just it's you know you showed me like the buttholes and shit like that. And um, mm-hmm. what is I'm like, buttholes? No, nah, this is what it looked like, yo. So that's why people call it that, bro. Black hole, my guy. <laughs> so, nah, I see. I think it was like kids punching TVs and stuff, and damn, and throwing TVs yeah, around. So yeah, the marketing probably worked. Parents. Yeah, it probably worked for the kids and shit like that. It probably worked. Mm-hmm. So when it popped back on, it, it probably it probably got a spike in player count. But you know, I don't really pay attention to Fortnite like that, so it, it really don't matter to me. But yeah, um, yeah. anyone else here gonna check out Fortnite <laughs> Chapter Two? Mm, nah, I can't. I, I can't get busy with that building that. shit, man. That shit ain't for me, man. So that shit in the bushes. Yeah. Wait, what's the bushes? I ain't played long enough. <laughs> nah, I mean, you throw it in the bushes. Shit, throw it in the oh, shit, yeah, throw it in the bushes. Okay, I thought she was going to say they got some mechanic hiding in the bushes. Nah, shit. Nah, 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 nah. Well, you actually can. But... Yeah, you can get the bush costume. Yeah, that's, that shit works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's move on to other news. Um, there was a rumor going around saying the PlayStation 5 is going to have backwards, may have backwards compatibility for the PS1, PS2, PS3, and ps4 and what's even fu- what's funny is their the reaction and the responses um Good. from this tweet i seen on twitter i think game rant posted up this article mm-hmm. and under under that thread a lot of people were for this but it's crazy you know alex you know backwards compatibility <laughs> was you know kind of tra- a trash feature uh and no one really cares about it you know, prior, but PlayStation guys seem pretty excited for backwards compatibility coming to the PS5. It's, it's interesting how <laughs> some people who were always saying, look, I don't want to play old games are now excited mm-hmm. about playing, playing old, old games. games yo. And I just want to thank Phil you know Spencer and Microsoft for pushing Sony to finally do something right. There you go. Um, if it wasn't for Philly Spence uh, getting out there, hitting backwards compatibility, doing all this good stuff, uh, we wouldn't be able to play all our uh, old PlayStation titles. Without you, you uh, know what it is, I think it's just like so niggas shit, yo, I niggas shit on you, Philly Spence. Shout out. You know, I think niggas just shit on stuff that they don't have. You know, I think Nintendo. It's always fans like are, that. I think Nintendo fans are the exact same way when it comes to Switch lack of features. They don't need it until it gets it. Then they love it. You know, I think it's just a thing that people Thanks. do to compensate for you know feeling shitty for not having. Um, a specific feature like Switch guys do it the most too, or like Nintendo mats. Oh, we don't need trophies. This we don't need that, all of this, that, that. As soon as they get these type of features, then you know <laughs> they're they're propping it up and praising it. And same thing with the Sony guys with backwards compatibility. Because right now, I know a lot of Sony guys would be pissed if the PS5 did launch with your PS4 games not working. At least I know some people would be pissed at that. Mm-hmm. You know? So Jack, how do you I feel think about that's, this? That's man? a little different though with the PS4 because the, the whole because the whole digital movement. And not being able to get anything back for those games. So even if you're not gonna play your PS4 games when you're moving on to the PS5, at least physically you could have got something back for them. But if you went 100% digital disc gen, then that's some money down the drain. That's what I'm saying. So it's important. Oh, though. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like the catalog, having your catalog move along with you, especially a digital library, is really important. And that's why I think it's that's like that puts Marks off in like a a tough position because you know a lot of people already spend a lot of. Uh, money on their PlayStation, buying digital games, man. So mm-hmm. people are gonna want those games True. to cross over. But Jack, how do you feel about you know the sudden change of heart of you know PlayStation gamers? Uh, games? well, me personally, I never had a problem with backwards compatibility. I mean, I'm subscribed to PlayStation now, right now, so I don't have a problem with it. Uh, it's mm-hmm. a good option. The thing is, well, the reason I ever criticize Microsoft's approach to backwards compatibility is because. That was the only approach they had to anything. They wasn't <laughs> like, there you go. like I said, no, it's a cool option, right? It's a yeah. cool option. See, so if PlayStation came out, it's only it was cool like, when Sony do it. No, no uh, if, if PlayStation came out and said, no. or they or they had a, a conference and they didn't talk about shit, but Pac was compatibility. We don't know no updates on no new games coming out. I wouldn't be cool. I'm like, bro, where is where is this? Where is it? Like, what are y'all talking about right now? Back was compatibility. 
I don't give a fuck about hey man, where are the new games? Where are the new experiences? And you know, like uh, Alex said earlier, you know, it, it's just crazy because a lot of people used to clown PlayStation for remastering games, but now they like, I just I just don't understand this community, man. Like uh, I think it goes both games. I think it goes both ways. Like, how like, is that exactly upon, what I said? Though. Niggas just shit on stuff that they don't have currently. As soon as they get it, they I, get I, forward, guess, man, I guess, man. I it's guess, just man. it is what it is. Hey man, like what Mike it, Jones said, back then they didn't want me. <laughs> hey, the true. Right. <laughs> it's a nice option, but if it wasn't there, I wouldn't be too fucked up about it because I'm used to not having it. So I, I would <laughs> utilize it if I do get it because I do still got. PS3 I think I games, expect so. it. I think for this generation, I think a lot of gamers expect it. So I think that if either the PlayStation or the Xbox said, "Oh, we don't, we're not doing backwards compatibility," I think that would be a huge blow because I think at this point, gamers expect it to work. You know what I mean? Right. Or, you don't think so? Jeff. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I expect it. I expect because I expect like, that. Kind of I like what so. Jack said, with, like, with, with Xbox, but not PlayStation. Because you know, really? like with, P- yeah. with PS5, you're going to expect to get those new games, those sequels to those PS4 from the PS4 title. So it's like, even if you couldn't play PS1, PS2, PS3, it's like, uh, all right, but I know what I'm getting moving forward. And, that's how I think it would I go over. I, I don't know, man. Oh, Yo, if no. I was Microsoft it's too, it's and the PlayStation man. 5 didn't do, like, play PS4 games, I will drive that point no, home. No, no, no. I will drive, that, I'll I'll drive that point home that, like, yo, fucking the PlayStation doesn't can't play old games and shit. I think that's important. It, it's right it's now, definitely right? got to play PS4 games. I'm referring more yeah. to, like, before PS4, okay. like, PS3, shit like that. No, it's definitely got to play PS4 games. We ain't going Is that 100%? That. Is that 100%? Yeah. Uh, I think PS4 is confirmed. playing PS4? I think that's yeah. confirmed. Right. It, it was, it was some. I know there was, report, I know there was some reports saying that it's not, it's not hundred percent. But Ooh. yeah, well, that's what makes it, me it believe. Be. That's what makes me believe yeah. this because they were saying that um they they didn't they can't hundred percent confirm backwards compatibility yeah. for PS5. It's crazy. But that's what makes me believe that they might be talking about in the grand scale of PS1, okay. PS2, three, and then, and then eventually four because it's x86. So it's like you know what I mean that what? has some, like, it, it no, a problem. I should be able yeah. to imagine buying The Last of Us 2 on your PS4 and you get a PS5, you're trying to put that disc in, and all of a sudden talking about you gotta wait, you gotta pay $40 for a remastered edition. I'd be high. Yeah, nah, it gotta work, it gotta work, it gotta work. I don't think they could get away with it. $40 for the remastered PS5 edition. I don't think they could get away with it next generation. That shit gotta work. Like, Jack, you don't, you don't agree right now? Imagine, look, Last of Us, PS4. No, it's going, I, no, I know for that. They're not gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, of course. It has they're not gonna do that. That would be crazy if they didn't. I think that the backlash would be pretty big for that, to be honest. Oh, no, the Madden curse is real. (laughs) Fuck. What's going on? That boy Patrick Mahomes just got carted off the field. Huh? Man. Damn. Did he? Rip. Rip. (laughs) Yup. My shit must be, huh? Fuck. Yeah, but okay, so back to you know the, the PS5 out. playing, you know, all you know, PlayStation games, like even from the PS1 physically, like that would be pretty fucking cool. And I think that's a nice gimmick to have, like a little thing to have, like, yo, we play everything on this. Like, you guys wouldn't be for that? That'd be that fire. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. That would, yeah. It would be and cool. Up, and and upscale it too, yeah. like Xbox does it. You know what I'm saying? Like Xbox how what? Xbox do it. You can play old games, they automatically upscale it. Especially if you have like the X. Now, if the mm-hmm. PlayStation is something similar, that'd be fire. Now, you got to pay a remastered edition for a game that you already have. One thing, though, one thing I do got an issue with when they originally announced PS Now, they said the a goal was to be to have all old PlayStation. They do not have PS2 games, or well, they got some PS2 games, not that many. Mm-hmm. And they don't have no PS1 games on there. They're supposed to have all this shit on PS Now. Right. They, they have, they have stepping with some of this shit. Like, I, I, that's what I'm. That's my issue. I rather them just like fully flesh out some shit and then work on the other shit. Like they just half stepping with all this. Shit. I don't. I don't really like. So, that. so how would you? F- so you wouldn't prefer like being able to pop in the discs, like you know, going to like. Of course, of course. But we need streaming well, it and streaming we the need, shit. We need both. We need both. I'm paying for this service. When you announced this service, you said the goal was to have every PlayStation game on this service. There are first party PlayStation games that are not on PS now. The Ratchet mm. and Clank trilogy is not on PS now. How, how does that make sense? That don't yeah. make no fucking sense. They definitely like it on them legacy titles on there. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. from a catalog perspective. You know what? But like, I think with PS now, like it's pretty much confirmed it's going change, over. Though. Yeah, it's going over to PS5. I think they're gonna be, you know, upgrading in it. 
um, next generation even more, and we're probably gonna see a lot more changes to PS Now. They already started with the price and stuff like that. I, I could see like the model evolving as time goes on. So yeah. we'll see what's yeah. up. With Jim that. Ryan seemed to be really behind that shit. So I mean, they're, they're promoting it's, it's it's on the when you boot up your PlayStation, the first thing you see, if not the second thing you see, is PS Now. So yeah, they I put mean, the back on. Oh yeah, <laughs> they downloaded that shit. They got the commercials now. They got commercials. I, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's, I think it's probably gonna be uh, much of a player. Hey, next thank generation. you, Phil Spencer. <laughs> we give it Phil that credit. We give it Phil that credit. Hell yeah, I'm giving Phil that credit. Thank you, Phil. Yeah, Jack. For downloadable games, facts. For the downloadable <laughs> games, that's what's We might have to, bro. Like, there's a lot of competition going on. Maybe that's what's you know, because PlayStation don't, like they don't want to have the service. Their service looking spooky, and Microsoft is just having oh, okay. We can download our games over here. It's cheaper. No, they got to compete somewhat too. Yeah, even they download, though, they even, download even, yeah, yeah like, even even if they're the leading platform, they still gotta like we can't slack just because you're leading, right? Especially gotta, with Big yeah, Bad Stadia you, you, coming out. Whew. Yeah, you can't you can't stand still. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta improve. Yeah, you always gotta make sure your shit's looking the best. You know, so there's that. Um, super average. Um, PS1, mm -hmm. PS2, PS3 games come in. You know, backwards compatibility to the PS5. You for that, right? Hell yeah, I'm for that. Like, I mean, I. To be honest, uh, I don't think. Well, I mean, I guess people probably do expect it, but I mean, they didn't really do backwards compatibility with PS3, PS4, right? Yeah, I so, think I think people expect really PS4, fine. but I think the big surprise that people were saying to, today, that people have seen today, was the PS1, PS2, and PS3. Especially PS3. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get the PS5 anyway. But if they do that, I mean, that's just icing on the cake, really. So yeah. I'd be down with that. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect way to describe it. Um, all right, so let's move on to the next topic. Um, Jamie, you want to break down some MPD numbers Ooh. for us, Mr. Numbers Guy? You want to break it down? Um, you shit, know it yeah. off the top, or you have to pull nah, it I, didn't hear. I only looked at the, uh, the titles before I dropped it in, but all I know is, um, shit, 2K20. As <laughs> it's crazy because, as much as like I've seen a lot of slander online for 2K20, <laughs> and this shit is already the best selling game of 2019, and it. Damn, it, it came out in the, last, in the last US, year. right? Yeah, in, in the US, it, oh. in the US, it, yeah. yeah that's one. crazy. So not only did it win the month, but that shit is the best selling game in the US. For yo, people have to already. understand, like two K's <laughs> reach, is, two K's reach is huge, yo. Because uh, yeah, of course, yeah, it's just like people that ain't even gamers. It's not even know? gamers, exactly. Right. It's like it's just a them, social them, thing. Them hood niggas love two K. That's what it is. It, it, it transcends <laughs> that. That's yeah, what it trans is. Yeah, it transcends. It transcends us. That's just fact. Everybody loves basketball, right? So you facts. Even like the NBA players, I've seen like interviews where they'd be like, "Yo, we we'll go to hotels and just leave PlayStation Two Ks there, buy new ones when we get to like the next next city and shit like <laughs> yeah, that." That's crazy. God right. damn, yeah. <laughs> that's a little gross. It is right. <laughs> hey, man, they, ball, they balling like that. <laughs> shit. If you work in housekeeping, yeah, you know, I live. I'll take yeah, that. Yeah. Facts, facts. Free, free, free PlayStation and shit. Free PlayStation. So no, that'll, that'll go into like lost and found, and then they'll leave it. Not there if I work month. there. Yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, if I'm in my trunk, shit. <laughs> yeah, like like Jack was saying, like 2K at this point like transcends like you no, know, just us here in like the gaming community like that. Like it's just like it's just like a household name at this point. It is you know, universal. As people, a, yeah. yeah, a lot of it's in cultural impact, especially like in hip hop and all sorts of shit. You know, people mm, make yep. memes, skits about 2K. Like 2K is just huge. It's like almost like it's like Fortnite. Like it's, it's just huge. Yeah, you know, right. yeah. it's people that own games system just to play 2K and Literally. maybe call it. That's like, it, yeah. right? Yeah, at this point, like 2K right. is like a culture thing. Yeah, exactly. It's like a culture yeah. thing at this point. You know what I mean? So um, that's always gonna do well, no matter what yeah. people think of it. You know, it's always gonna do well at this point. I think. So as far as software goes, just listen to some of the top 10 games. You got Borderlands at number two, um, FIFA, number three, Link's Awakening at number four, and that's okay. without Damn. digital sales. Um, Great game. Madden, yeah. Madden 20 up there at number five. Ghost Recon Breakpoint at number six. Ooh. Did y'all see the reviews for that game? That shit got like a 50 on Metacritic. That shit is crazy. Fucking Fallout 76 got better reviews. That's crazy. That's I know Solid Rev was on Twitter waiting nighting for that game. Bro, him and, <laughs> <laughs> him and Blood, yo, those are the two uh, only mads I know are playing that shit. Only two people, people, like two game, people I know are playing Breakpoint yeah. is Blaze yeah. and Solid Rev, bro. The only two Rev, people I know. Bro. I don't know anyone else. Videos. 
<laughs> oh, this is this 25 minute video about everybody being wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe the reviews. Um, and Gears Five is on here at number seven. Okay, sir. okay, um, that's actually a surprise. Okay, lie. that's surprising. Okay, okay, it's a weird mark next to Gears Five. What does that mean? No, no Steam sales. No Steam sales. Oh, okay, doesn't oh, include okay. Steam sales. Oh, wow, that's, really? That's so not it, bad. it could be just more. Xbox. Mm, that's Xbox. not bad, yo. That's not bad. And I believe that's physical and digital. Hopefully, they'll um, fix that fucking game. Yeah, Gears has been getting it though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, eight Covey, nine NHL, twenty and ten Mario Kart. I'm not going. It's like twenty games. I'm not going all the way down. Mario Kart is still eight. there, bro. Just Mario Kart won't. Mario Kart is like die. the new GTA, bro. That shit ain't <laughs> leaving, bro. Won't die. That shit ain't Sp- leaving. Spider Man's at eighteen, it's and like uh, Control is not to be found. Control, Control is, still ain't on the list. That shit bomb, Hell no. that I like bomb. that game, and that's sad. I like bro. it too. It's a good like game. It is a good game. it is. It is a good game. It is. Uh, do, do you think wild. it's even on this top 20 list still? Go ahead. You think the, the, the failure of control is the reason why Sony ain't gonna buy him? <laughs> uh, <laughs> they was like, yo, depending on how you know, like mad, it was mad like Twitter talking about they're gonna buy uh Remedy and then control comes out, PlayStation's like, yo, congratulations. <laughs> and no <laughs> more tweets after that. No, no more tweets after that. <laughs> Nah, that's that's a good point though, cause they, they PlayStation was endorsing was mad PlayStation. Th- yeah, they were yeah, boosting. They it. was heavily endorsing this game, like you said. Congratulations, all types of Twitter posts, the marketing, and everything. After that, after we found out themselves, and it didn't pop up on the chart, they ain't said a damn word. They still promoting it with the photo, cause it just got photo mode. I oh think yeah, I think the little that game reviewed it. really well. The reviews the weren't review bad for it. Yeah, it wasn't bad for that okay. game either. It was a good game. I don't it know. I think, dry, I think, it probably I think dropped a, at the wrong time. I think it's just, yeah, wrong timing, yeah, bad, bad, like, marketing probably could have been Remedy better. games don't sell, man. They just don't. They, and, like, and, critically and, claim and, and I believe, movies. too, the controversy, <laughs> like, with the epic score probably kind of hurt it as well. Yeah. yeah. Cause they I heard Borderlands. Well, that's, that's a bad know. comparison. That's a, <laughs> you know why? Because I think yeah, it was I available. Right I think it was available at one point to like pre-order or some shit on Steam. And like, I don't know. Was that the game? Mm-hmm. And they took it down? I don't know. No, that was... Um, or, or that was a different Metro. game? That was Metro. Uh, Metro? Metro? That was Metro. Okay, oh, okay, yeah. okay. I see. I'm getting them confused. Yeah. But I think all of that probably plays a part in it. But it not charting is kind of sad. Hopefully, um, the game gets a price drop and people actually check That's it out. Because the game's actually a good game. It's, it's, it's actually it's a good game. And I actually do recommend it. Like, if you haven't played Control, I actually... Do recommend that shit. What's shit Remedy's biggest shot. game? Remedy? Yeah. Is it Alan Wake? That would be yes. nah Max Payne, maybe. Max Payne. Max Payne, yeah. One the and first two, probably one. their biggest so, games they got. Max Payne. I mean the biggest. Two, yeah. yeah, overall. Yeah, the biggest. Mm-hmm. Then yeah. Max Payne. But Max Payne 3 ended up being like Rock, of course, Rockstar. Rockstar. 2K Rock, it was Rockstar. Show, right? Yeah, 2K or something. Yeah, shit. Rockstar yeah. got it. Yeah. But you no, know, people like, you know, when you think about Max Payne, a lot of people go to three and they don't really talk about one and two. Yeah, they don't, yeah, facts. Yeah. But people, people still, I think Remedy just ain't got it. They ain't got that clout. They just ain't got it. <laughs> I, I feel like if they're actually under Sony, I think that'll be beneficial to them though. Like I think they'll probably get more clout if they were actually under Sony, to be honest. I think so. Yeah, but why why didn't the Sony faithful buy the game though? They were they were backed heavy by the Sony. You know what I'm saying? Like Sony guys buy PlayStation games, control ain't Chart. I don't know. You have to ask Jack. Man, Genie don't master. make top twenty. You, you have to ask copy. Jack, man. Why? Why your people ain't copying? That? You know? That's what I was. That's what I was told. Like, Xbox guys don't buy games. I mean, y'all was mm. back in remedies. <laughs> Remedy finally goes third party. I ain't buy it. <laughs> This you the got, only got, got a point. Fucking with though, to be honest. You got a point, yo. You got a point. So, uh, I mean, I mean, Tim Sweeney bought me my copy. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got we got it from the back alleys, yo. <laughs> we got, we, yo, turn, we turned what? full one night yo, for yo, that game, yo, bro. So when, yeah, yeah, y'all passing the game or like the diss around and shit. Y'all ain't even buying it, man. <laughs> it was Use mad. that Patreon money. Come on, man. <laughs> Dude, it was Barred mad that funny because Kofi found out that Tim Sweeney bought my copy. And then he sent me up. He's uh, like, hey, man. Uh, like, you Alex, get, yo, you know what I mean? See, that's, see, that's how you know it is. Mean? He's like, he's like yo, Look, Alex, I'm, waiting for, you... I'm waiting for the Steam version still. You know, I'm going to actually buy that for the Steam version. <laughs> Alex, I'm dead go, ass going to buy it. Go on and ask Tim for another code. Can you ask Tim for another code? Because yeah, <laughs> now that I got a 2080 Ti, I kind of do want to play that game all over again with RTX on. With the ray tracer? Yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you should test that out. Yeah, I'm waiting for the Steam version. Yeah, you're really probably the only shit that can handle it. Yeah, I know, right? Fam. Yo, even my 2070 Super. Is like hitting, is like 60, 70 FPS with everything turned on, mm-hmm. with the ray tracing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. At 1080. Them oh, frames oh. were like The Witcher Three on the fucking Switch. Yeah, yeah. I, no, think, on a, on I, think maybe, I think maybe that's how bad the, shit was. Yeah, maybe so the performance kind of kind of hurt it as well because I heard it play like shit on consoles, right? So I didn't. Yeah, yeah. bro, so, twenty frames, bro, fourteen frames. Yeah, that's not appealing, you know, to. 
Uh, let me read some super chats real quick. Um, Def Hi. Singer says someone needs to mod Def Stranded so main dude has UPS outfit. <laughs> <laughs> if it well, was on PC, hey, man, I think it's PC. coming to PC. I'm still, I'm still standing on that hill. Def Stranded coming to PC. That should be hilarious, though. They should, they should partner with the with the shipping services. I still you think Def Stranded is coming to PC. Out. Mark that's it genius, down. That's, that's two. That's two W's I'm gonna get. Def Stranded is gonna be heat. That's my first W. My next W mm. is that I called from time. It's gonna come on PC as well, despite people thinking oh, it's yeah. using the decimal engine. It's still gonna come on PC. Yeah. That's my two things. I'm and saying. if it does, that'd be funny. Yeah. Um, that would be funny. You, you know, you know how teams got like uh, like sponsorships and shit. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the Bulls got a sponsor, or whatever. Like mm -hmm. you have like DHL or Amazon with the fucking Death Stranding logo. That'd be that'd be actually a funny <laughs> ass on mod. Like on CBI, like Amazon that. shit, like an Amazon. He got companies like Monster got drinks in there. Um. I think some of the clothing might have like it's like some name brand shit in that but game. He likes so. doing that. Like Kojima likes putting like real clothes and shit in there too. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Um Jamal Clark says, Hey Jack, you ever finish prison school? Just curious. Uh yeah, I finished it. Um it was a good show. I like it. Yo, Jack, when, when are you gonna watch a real anime like, you know, My Hero or you know, Hajime no Ippo? Like, when are you gonna watch some real shit, bro? Like what's I'm up? I'm good, bro. I'm good, dog. I tried like, to watch you... another one. What's the other one? It was High School of the Dead. I couldn't get past the intro on that shit. I don't know. Nah, man. someone needs to recommend some good anime. About this anime shit. You couldn't get past the intro. Said nah, this music shit. You know what? You know what I think you should. I think you would like um, um, Samurai Champloo. I think you like. Oh yeah, it. I tried. I think, oh yeah, I tried, I think a, I tried it's, to watch it's a, it's a short too. series. It's a short series. The only hip, twenty. The hip hop in it, man. It's dope. Yeah, I think I tried to watch that one. Only twenty four episodes. It's it's actually so good, bro. It's I don't good. know, man. It's something about Is the it? anime. So, dude, Samurai yeah, Champloo, you, watch you gotta go. That's actually you know, a great ass show, bro. Or Afro Samurai, bro. Yeah, you should try mm -hmm. that out too. I bro. might, I might could do that one. I might could do that. I never tried to watch that one. I might could yeah. do that one. Yeah. That's the one that got Sam Jackson in the ring. Yeah, Samuel. Yeah, what? Samuel yeah. Jackson. I might could do that one. Um, last one from Sofa Spy. He says, uh, "I think he meant to say, am I? He wrote, I'm. Well, am I the only one who can't play old 3D games?" The bad graphics gives me a headache and uh, nauseous. Tried playing yes. Vice City you are, and almost fell <laughs> off my chair. No, Bam. some games like some games are kind of hard to play, like Wave Racer, uh, Wave Racer sixty four, uh, stuff like that. But some games still hold up. Like if you play Revenge today, Mario Kart, Diddy Kong Racing, those games hold up. Yeah. They really yeah. do hold up. Mario Kart sixty. I feel like a lot of sixty four games in general hold up today. If you play them yep. now, Donkey it's actually. That shit actually doesn't look too bad, bro. If you play like the first Smash, like it's still enjoyable and it plays really well. Like some games are like honestly just like timeless, bro. Like that's timeless, a fact. Yeah. yeah, Star Fox holds up 64. I was just streaming that not too long ago. A lot of them games hold up really, really well, man. They actually really GTA do. though, them them camera, like yeah, the not, camera before I think it was maybe before San Andreas, but San Andreas might the aiming. Yeah, the aiming oh, with the GTA oh 3 God, is hard to play. I, cannot, I can't. I'll agree with that. I cannot. I will agree with that. GTA 3 is hard to play. It's hard to play. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck did I play this shit? I think, I think with the older games, the camera is the problem more so than anything else. Yeah. Because they couldn't get the controls yeah, right. They couldn't get the framework. It was always such a weird thing. Yeah. Well, I 100% I agree. GTA 3 is really hard to play in 2019. Like, just the aiming and the targeting in that game is just mm -hmm. really tough. It's really tough. And it's crazy because I actually want to, like, Re-experience that game because I played that at such a young, young age, but it's just so it's just so hard to play it though. Like it's extremely hard to play it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a few more MPD things you wanted me to run right, yeah, over yeah. real quick. Go ahead. Um, well, you want to do the the switch? Of course, one the the month of September. <laughs> what is that? Ten months in a row. Ten, yeah, ten in a row. You know what I mean? But who's counting? You know what I mean? Who's counting? Switch gang? gang? Switch, Switch gang? gang? You already know what it is? I, I'm about to drop part three if they don't fuck around, bro. I'm about to drop part three, bro. Like, niggas don't even know, me. They ain't ready. 11 in a row, that's Bill Russell right there. You know what I mean? Say so, now. Nah. They're going to win every um, month. It's safe to say they're going to win every month. It's, they're going to win yeah. this year. This year. This least. year is a wrap. And Luigi Back comes out soon, so. Yeah, and Pokemon. Like, they're going to win. Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon. Yeah. They won 12 tough. months in a row. They're going to win it. It's easy. Yeah. Um, but also the switch surpassed 15 million in North America. Get also em. completely obliterating the, the we used worldwide sales with in just the North America, America sales. sales alone. Yeah. Yeah. So that's crazy. That was a nice little fun. It's fact doing right well, there. man. It is what it is. People hate to see it, but I love Yo, to Nintendo see it. Yo, Nintendo did a soldier boy. 
They, yeah. they did good, man. With the comeback, biggest comeback of 2018, you biggest know. Biggest comeback. <laughs> Facts. I know so, the new Soldier Boy. Facts. Yeah. Um, Super Average, um, you play? You play? You have a Switch? Yeah, Fuck man, I love switch. it, man. You love it, huh? I think out of the three, it's my favorite system. But mm. Mm. I mean, as far as like how it works, it's just really cool gimmick. How you could just put it down and pick it up, take it wherever you go. Um, I mean, the frames per second suck, you know, but that's whatever. We but, can agree, I could agree yeah, with that, you know, certain I, games. I, I fuck, yeah, I fuck with the Switch. You know, I actually recently picked up Dragon Quest Eleven S on the Switch, and I was just playing it at work today on my light, and I'm just sitting there, like, mesmerized. I'm just blown away that, like, yo, like, a game like this, I actually already beat it on my PC and shit, like, it was just a, such a portable form factor. Like, that's still, like, that magic still gets to me, you know, because, like, I've been gaming, like, a lot of my life I've been gaming on portables. Like, every single Game Boy I've owned, you know, every yeah. single PSP I've owned. Shout out to I mean? the Game Boy SP. So, like, me just sitting there at work, uh, like, just waiting around playing Dragon Quest XI on it, and it actually looks great. It's a great-ass port. I'm, I'm just sitting there blown away. Like, I can't believe I'm actually playing this. I still get that feeling playing on my Switch. Alex, do you, still, do you get that feeling sometimes? Like, like, shit, like, I'm really playing, like, this kind of quality game on such a device like this, like bro, I still get that was, feeling, bro. When I'm playing Astral Chain, I'm like, this is on a portable. Like this, is like a portable, like really playing this. Yeah, this is for real. Bro. Like make y'all want to sit Indian style, get some crackers and. Bro, juice I play or... my bed. I ain't afraid of <laughs> shit. I'd be, I'd be tucked in in my bed <laughs> under my sheets, playing some shit with some Netflix. I'd be playing like Listen, that, bro. The only way to play the Switch <laughs> is with your homies, and you guys are crossing toes. All right, nah. Oh, yeah. wait, wait, we got on, the man. rest of Kansas lit and shit. Hold on, wait a minute. Got the, got the kettle in the back brewing. But no, but like the Switch is, is, is fucking awesome. Like, it's a great, great device, man. Thing. Yeah, yeah. A great Switch device, Switch man. is fire. Fantastic. It's the best time to get a Switch right now, man. They got games every month, man. Yeah. That's fact. At this point, yo, niggas can't come around saying every that. Month. Yo, where's the game, bro? They got, they, there's a lot to pick from. If you're buying a Switch today and you can get one for one ninety nine, there's a lot to, there's a lot of shit to play, bro. <laughs> a lot. It's just, it's just the facts, man. If you just want to be I'm ignorant still on to it, but it's a lot of to play. Yeah, it's just crazy. Yeah. A lot of quality games too that, you know. Y'all just hit me up if you need some recommendations, bro. A lot of quality <laughs> games on that shit. Um, All right. Um, I got, before you move on, I got to yeah. get out of here. Though. All right. Yo, so Jay, man. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm out of here. But appreciate um, the guests coming through. FC Violent, super average. Um, All right, how's it going, man? Thank y'all for showing up. And yeah, to, to the chat, I'll catch y'all next week. And I'm out. All right. Jeez. All right, my guys. I'm going to stay here so I don't fuck up the boxes. All right, I appreciate that. Um, so all right, let's move on to the next topic. There's not really much else to discuss, but I do want to come back to this whole Blizzard thing because mm. in the last podcast, you know, I left it to Alex to talk about it because I actually didn't, I didn't, I don't know shit about shit. I feel like when I don't know anything, <laughs> like I don't know what's going on. I don't like speaking on stuff that I don't know about. You know, some people mm -hmm. just want to be, just talk about shit and be part of the conversation. But like Man. me, I didn't know shit about it. I'm like, Alex, take it away. I don't know shit about this. So I actually went, you know, back and did some research about this whole history with, you know, China and Hong Kong. I learned about that, the, mm -hmm. you know, uh, all of that, what's going on with that. And then the Blizzard shit made a lot more sense to me. Then the NBA shit made a lot more sense to me as well. So yep. um, Blizzard actually right, recently yeah. came out and put out a statement. Um, Alex, did you see the statement that Blizzard put out? So I made a video about it, and uh, that statement was fucking garbage. Mm. Um, it was a non-statement. It was a complete non-statement from like, from the president of Blizzard right now. Let me see if I can pull it up here. So, how do how do you guys feel about now that I understand the situation though? How do you guys feel about Blizzard's stance for not wanting? You know, political things being advertised on your no, platform. that's bullshit. That well, that's bullshit because Blizzard literally politicizes Overwatch consistently in the LGBTQ space. Mm, yeah, mm, okay. They politicize Overwatch point. consistently all the, the gay time. Characters. They politicize yeah. all of their games. So you're telling me some politics are okay, but others aren't? No, mm. fuck you. You got a good when point. It with to, that when, one. It, yeah. when it comes to money, yeah. dude. And, you know, they don't fuck with China, man. China got all that bag. They're not going to try to mess with it, especially with the whole free speech thing. You know, you know, you know, it's illegal over there. So they're not going to try to mess up their money. It's really, right. and, and, and and it's just, it's, it's, right. it's really right. fucking sad because the um, the post that they made that they say, uh, bah, 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 bah. they're trying to play the middle pretty much. They're, they're, trying trying to play, they're trying to play the middle because they know that they got a lot of money, you know, mm -hmm. in China and stuff like that. And, um, I felt like the punishment, now that I understand the situation, I felt like the punishment was definitely harsh. Um, 
But I do see that they're definitely in uh, some sort of predicament as like a company, as a game company. You know what I mean? Like you're just trying to do games and shit like that. So it, it is it is a sticky situation that they're in, in a sensitive situation. Like if you if you think about it, like so, Alex, what's the right way to go about it if you're Blizzard? That like, what's the right way to go about it? What they should have done was nothing at all. Yeah, let the comp- let the government do it. Okay. What they should have done was just nothing okay. at all. So the, reaction, said, so the reaction. So the reaction. So the reaction. Is that the they did was was bad. They should have just kept quiet and let you know China maybe take action. So how about if China even, says, "Yo, even, we don't want to like, all right, so we, we don't want we're gonna ban your game or ban your platform mm, in China." So what yeah, that's then? That's true. So okay. what then? True. Okay. But isn't it kind of yeah, easy yeah. just to say that if you're you know not part of the company and so you know if, what I mean? if, like if, if you look at like the revenue for what they make, China's like ten percent of their revenue. It's only the reason 10%, why. Okay. The reason why they want China so bad isn't because of the revenue that they make. It's the growth potential. Oh, okay. They want to get in the market early. Okay. And it's hard to get in China's market early. Yep. So the difference is, is like, what are they going to do? Oh, you can't play Hearthstone in our game country anymore? Okay. Hearthstone isn't really that big anyways. Okay. No, they would have banned all their games, though. Yeah. Okay. China. China Cod, Mobile. Uh, but you got to yeah, say. They would have banned it's, it's, all that shit. It's you know, not just say, Blizzard, though. Blizzard is Activision. Yeah, yeah Blizzard is Activision. 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 Oh, Activision. Yeah. Oh, okay. So these two, like one of the most greediest companies in the world, bro. You think they're gonna just skip over China? Hell no. No, they're not gonna do it. But the thing is, their response was the wrong response. Oh, All they course, had to say course. was, "Is like, look, we don't associate with you know." His response is his personal response. We're gonna keep things down the line, and uh, he can say what he's gonna say, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And, and what um, else can you do? Like. You know, shit with the NBA as well, you know, and LeBron That's talking about it. LeBron, <laughs> he, he didn't know what the hell was clearly I, what the I, hell was going I, on. I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this about the LeBron situation though. Let's see. Um because when he when he made these statements, uh the, the Lakers and the Nets were actually in China at this yeah. time. So Ooh. even though what he said might have been uh wrong. He yeah. could have, they could have, like, it ain't no telling what, you know, China on some fuck yeah, shit, right? Yeah, so, yeah, if you say some when you got China somebody, will snatch his ass up. I'm just exactly, could have been like, oh, y'all ain't going back or some shit. It ain't exactly. no telling what that. So he was also exactly. like, I'm trying to go home type shit, like, nah. y'all good with me, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> then when he got back, you see when he got back, he switched it up, but I think he oh, was just okay, like, I see. I didn't know what he was that. pretty much saying was the shit Daryl Morey said, it did put them in danger, because it was yeah. like a lot of people over there that was from America, and they didn't want to. I can understand why he said it. Yeah, maybe he shouldn't, he shouldn't. He shouldn't, uh, like Alex said, he shouldn't say shit. <laughs> like he should just yeah, say, I don't know nothing about. Nothing. I don't know nothing about nothing, man. I don't know. Man. But but like like Kofi was talking about how the whole Hong Kong and China thing. But like China are like snatching people up like legitimately. Mm-hmm. And then some of the I forgot what the country's called, but it's like under China, and they're literally like snatching people and put them in the camps. For, yeah, you know, it's crazy. Like I just I just learned some crazy, shit, bro. and I was like watching some like the history behind it, like with the the whole Hong Kong. I didn't know Turkestan none of this or shit. some shit like I that. I didn't know yeah. none of this shit, yo. Like you know, uh, but yo, they they have a fight for them for themselves over there mm-hmm. in Hong Kong. They're fighting for you know their freedom. They're uh, they want democracy over there and shit like that. So it's crazy, man. It's crazy what they're yeah. going through over there. Yeah, ben, 20, 20, 2047, ben, man. It's crazy. So they're gonna be fighting until then, because that's when the fucking little, you know, ag- or treaty yep. or agreement yeah, is over, yeah. right? So it, it's definitely gonna be tough. Damn, this shit go. Man. God damn. Twenty forty seven. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Twenty forty seven. Yeah. Crazy. Mm. So yeah, that whole that whole Blizzard situation is definitely messy. It's shitty. Yeah, and they came out mm-hmm. with a, a little statement, um, saying that pretty much saying that you know they don't want their platform to you know they want their platform to avoid politics and shit like that that's what i pretty much read from it so they're trying that's to that's what other countries are going to start doing when they're going into china they're going to have it because you're on their platform they could they could enact any type of rules they want they're going to say no political statements just because they don't want to mm-hmm. lose that bag yeah i uh, i agree with what uh john sterling said though like the way they got their tos written is like they can yeah like y'all saying they can pick and choose when they want to yep. you know it's just you know, it's just a little safety belt thing they do. All these companies do it. TOS. They it's written in a way to where they can just you know say whatever they, they want. Yeah, they ain't got a, I ain't they ain't got to honor shit. So mm-hmm. I, okay, let me ask Alex this: How do you feel about the people saying that they're gonna boycott um, Blizzard and shit like that? Are you on that type of wave pattern right now, or you don't? Um, you're not really. I already extreme. uninstalled Battlefront for that reason. Oh, wow. though? There you go. No. No. Yeah, I think you said it last time, right? You said it like I I, I mean I I uninstalled Battlefront because. 
classic WoW started to start to grate on me again. And then once Destiny came over to Steam, I was like, oh, there's nothing else for reason for me to play on there. Boop. So I just got rid of it. Mm. It was just like a natural thing. Like, I was like, I don't want to use it anymore. Like, Diablo 3 is fucking garbage. Uh, WoW retail is fucking trash. Classic, I just don't have the time for. Um, and, like, everything else on there, I'm not going to play the new COD. And Destiny is the only thing that interested me. So I was like, all right, peace out. So, but how, how y'all feel about like just politics and gaming in general? Like, yeah, I think throughout, be, I throughout, throughout in history, like you know, people have kind of obviously, kind of obviously, you know, put in their type of their agendas in you know video games and stuff like that. But how do you guys feel about I mean, that shit in I general? To go like, back what do you say, super average? Wasn't. I wanted to go back to when it wasn't like if none of that stuff was really it really mattered back in the day. You just got a game that some developers really love and put their heart in it, and you know. That's what we got. But nowadays, they got an agenda. They got to add this. They got to alter history, and they got to make sure that they push their agenda and disregard the others. And then all these people are arguing about the wrong thing, and the game actually sucked. I don't know. It's just I don't know. yeah, yeah. I feel like you know with certain things, you know, we got different communities being included in games and yeah. stuff. I feel like they kind of like pushing that with the announcements like hey look we're doing this guys you know what i mean like mm -hmm. i feel like that that stuff is kind of unnecessary like yo if your character is like gay let it be gay let us find out exactly. your story let us just you know enjoy the game but it's, some things do seem a little bit forced with that kind of stuff as well but you know just just polit politics and gaming in general um fc violent how, how do you feel about it and they, they they need to separate it man like you know we, we in america in particular we see politics in our face all the time games should be just for you know, it's an art form. Let, let it be art. You, I don't, I don't need your politics to be in my game. I think there was a uh, one game. Uh, I forgot what it's called. It's like a, it's like a medieval game, right? Where there's a whole bunch of like white people in it, and there's oh, a lot of people like King, uh, Kingdom. Yeah, King, Kingdom oh, yeah, Deliverance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then people were like, "Well, where the black people?" You know, well, I'm like, bro, this is like, this is like somewhere in like Slavia or some shit. You know what I mean? It's like this is where there ain't no black people there. Mm -hmm. Do your history. Like, I don't see anything wrong with that if you're doing a historical game. Like, be factual. You can't just exactly. be putting. You know, Mexicans and black people and Asian people in a, in a game for what? They don't make no sense. It's a historical game. Like that, that adding that politics is just is dumb. Like just let let the game be a game. Let let the developers, whoever make the game, create their art like how they envision it, and don't be forced by other people around them or the politics behind it to, to to make a game fit a narrative. Yeah, yeah. Like I just don't yeah. like when it's forced. Like I don't mind yeah. if a game is has like some political like subject matter in it, but like when it's like shoehorned or forcing, that's when I, yeah. I personally you know don't care for or I don't like that, yo. But like yeah. like games have stories about like having like certain political mm. views and shit like that. I don't mind if it's just like okay, that's the story you all wanted to tell us, right? But if yeah, it's like, like Wolfenstein. If it's, yeah, if it's like shoehorned in then like it, I I, I kind of have a problem with that stuff. That shit kind of bugs me. In. If you in Last of Us One, um, I forgot that character's name. Your friend that you find for the truck for the battery. Yeah. yeah. Finding out he's gay is done perfectly. Yeah, it's done perfectly. I agree. I agree. It's done perfectly. And he's a he's he's a well done character. He's a well acted character, and you have all these great little hints and things that you put you into play, and you're like, Bill, you're like, Bill, I fucking get it, man. Like, yeah, okay, whatever. Like your friend, your boyfriend, your husband, I get it. You're kind of like still stuck in it. You really don't know what to do. You're in a situation and you're like, is that context? Is it there? Because everybody's like, fucking put it in their face. And it's like, dude, I know, like, if, if, it was Ubi, yeah, if it was Ubisoft, we would have got like a Twitter <laughs> post prior to this. We would have got, you know what I mean? Ubisoft, Apex we'd Legends that, and shit. We'd be doing that the, the, the oh most. Oh my God. We'd have got a it's we'd like, got like, post, <laughs> announcements. Like, <laughs> like, come on, man. I think I did it the other that. day. I was like, um... <laughs> As it, Gay I think, flag I think microtransactions. Yeah, <laughs> well, no, honestly, for that, I don't give a shit about that. Like, it doesn't bother me at all. For me, games can be political inherently. Metal Gear Solid is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. You can have political themes in games and let the player decide what those political themes mean to them and have them tease it yeah. out their own. Yeah. yeah. I do not need a journalist who lives in California paying four grand for a you know two hundred square foot studio to tell me what is important and what isn't. Right. That's 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 the separation that I want. I want your your bullshit ivory tower garbage politics out, and I want the developers to tell me the story they want to tell me, mm -hmm. and then I'll make my inference from those stories. Everything else is just clickbait garbage that you're just making in that in that sense.
I think I think sometimes they do that to create a buzz for the game. Yeah, you know? totally. Um, it's forced. Maybe sometimes be pandering to to maybe get a buzz for your game. It's just yeah. I'm not with mm-hmm. the force stuff, but I'm okay with like po- political subjects being game. Just when it's just not forced, then I'm then I'm cool with that. All right, so let's move on to the next topic. Um, the Outer Worlds. Um, there was some controversy going on with this game. Um, I think Windows Central reported that only the Xbox One X version was going to get an enhanced uh, version of the game, and it was later confirmed that no. Um, the PS4 Pro is also going to get an enhanced version okay. of this game as well. But my question is to Jack, if this was the case, like the original report, and the PlayStation Pro didn't get an enhanced version, would you have a problem with this? Um, Now that Microsoft case- owns the studio... If they, you were just saying that you want Microsoft to be savage, that's why I wanted to ask. I mean, you, you wanted to okay. be savage. Yeah, well, I watched you wanted, the podcast you wanted, too. Yeah, I was like, oh, you wanted them to be aggressive. You wanted them to be now. savage. So would you would you be on the side complaining that the PS4 Microsoft said fuck the PS4 Pro version? We're only going to give you guys the Xbox One and has one. The reason I'm going to say I would have an issue with this is that first of all, the, the Pro is capable of doing these upgrades. Secondly, why bring it out at all? If you if you're not going to give it, you know. Like you said, give it your all. Then don't just don't put it on PlayStation. Like, but the thing about it is, um, the devs, of course, they made this game before they had to deal with Microsoft and the yeah. publisher. Like, either, Private either, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Either just give it the upgrades that it's able to do, which it, it did come out that it's gonna get upgrades. Yeah, it's gonna but get upgrades. Yeah. Either, either do it or like don't put it on PlayStation. Not fuck it. Like, you know what I mean? If they really want to be savage, I don't even think they can do that. But if they really want to nah. be savage, I would say just don't put it on PlayStation. <laughs> if it ain't going to upgrade, I mean, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, there, there was a little controversy going on back and forth and stuff like that. But, you know, uh, obviously there was a little backlash to it. Probably the most buzz the game has ever gotten uh, on social media. And um, they later on came on and confirmed that, yes, the PS4 version is going to have the enhance, um, you know, the enhancements. So... You guys could look forward to that. Um, the Outer Worlds, anyone here planning on playing the game? Damn, I'm one. checking it out. I'm getting it. I'm gonna cop it. Yeah, I got Game Pass. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna check it out. Game Pass. It does uh, look if you like RPG games, bro, if you like Western RPG games where you create the story, why not? It's Obsidian. You talk about like you know, this is the biases for me coming. It's Obsidian who makes who's making this game. Yeah, so, day yep. one. I, I'm, I just got a feeling it might be a little too maybe Fallout 4 ish and not, not bring anything innovative to it. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to play it anyway, but it just, there's just something about it just made me feel it, like. It looks, it looks it promising, you know? Like, I look at the gameplay, like, I'm not going to lie and say, like, I'm blown away. I look at the gameplay, I'm not, like, totally blown away, but it does look very promising. Like, it could be yeah. something. And look, wh- how can you get burnt on it? You can honestly just. Played on Game Pass too, right? So we out of an option yeah. to play Game Pass for <laughs> oh, yeah. a nice okay. cheap price. I think, I, think I might out. try it there and then wait the year. That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna try it on Game Pass. See if I'm, I'm digging it. If I if I like it, I'm gonna continue playing it. Obviously, until I beat it and stuff like that. But is it is it coming to Steam later? That's confirmed, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Damn, yeah. man. Steam catching mad L's, Alex. Yo, I'm like, yo, all these games stick up in Steam, bro. What's going on, bro? They're not skipping. They're just getting bought out. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Steam needs to break out. You know, some money hey man, and hey, get listen, some of the exclusives. All, all bro. that's happening, all that's happening, is that Tim Sweeney is making sure developers are paid, and he's Thanks. buying me a copy. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this guy. Man. That's all that's happening. Tim Sweeney is making sure that I get my. He gonna say, "Hey, Alex, here's your copy." You gonna get the one night games. edition, huh? Mm, nah, mm. I'm gonna get the Game Pass edition since it's available. So, I won't get that. Um, we got a few more topics left before um, I guess we're gonna get out of here. It's not much to talk about. Um, Google Stadia is finally coming out <laughs> um, November nineteenth. Hmm. Oh man, trash! That shit's gonna ain't be nobody, garbage, ain't nobody they dropping it all. <laughs> that shit gonna be that shit gonna be garbage, yeah. bro. Let's keep it so up. Apparently, the wireless control ain't supposed ain't gonna be. I heard that yeah. too. <laughs> Wait, 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 half ass, man. Their wireless know, controller man. is not gonna be wireless. Apparently, like you're gonna need like some Comcast Pro or some shit to even use that whole connected to Wi-Fi shit or some shit. You're gonna need to plug it in USB. I'm sorry. So like this shit this is, is this shit is spooky, bro. This is spooky <laughs> as hell, man. This is the same company talking about negative latency, bro. Like 
Your wireless controller is not going to be wireless at launch, apparently. We definitely got to fight on Google. Stuff. We definitely going to fight on that. Oh, man. That shit is going to be trash. Yo. I'm, I'm going to try it, though. I'm going to try it. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I'm going to try it. But actually, like, you don't even need to buy anything, right? You could just, like, log on your Brett web browser and play exactly. it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well you got to buy the game, though, but it's free. Ooh, they don't it's have a service that. that lets you rent some? Nope. Nope. Wait a minute. Yeah, so but you're streaming me I'm paying game. full price to stream a game? To yes. stream a game, yes. Don't get me fucked up. I want to try that guilt game, but I ain't trying to Nah, bro. Do a trial, nah, bro. Man. I, I thought to... the whole time that like they're gonna have like a subscription service where you can like play no, all the nah. games. So you have the subscription service, and then you also you need have to, pay to buy the game. You get a free game if you get like a certain service though, like a month. You find all that shit all day. It's just mad confusing, bro. The way they explain it, like. yeah, they they kind of fuck it up. And then apparently, the this shit is work. sold out in the UK, so I don't know. You already know that some early adopters <laughs> gonna cop it, yo. Yeah, That's cool. Sold out? How do they sell out? What do they sell out of? Uh, the founders edition or some shit? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that little fun, yeah. <laughs> Ain't it all oh, good? All good. They're all gonna try to start their controls and realize this shit ain't working. It's like I gotta plug this. Yeah, shit but in. you know what? Like we got what, <laughs> what these companies come out and say that yo, this, this, that is sold out, but we don't even know like the units. You feel me? Right. I mean, right. We don't even know the yeah, units. Course, so that's course, that's all like it could be anything. It could be sold out, be a thousand shit. This is PR yeah. shit. They're gonna come out and say, yo, this shit's already sold out. You know what I mean? You can't find it nowhere. Maybe just to create some buzz right. and they only had like a thousand available. You know what I mean? Like a couple of thousand available. <laughs> So the man. only game they had uh going for it was what Doom and they postponed that to March. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so know, why man. the fuck get this? That shit is know. super dry. Yeah, it's what just like a whole bunch of out? old games that like we oh. already have, yo. That we're already you playing play currently. Too, for free. Like we could play that for free right now. That's true. Why would I want to stream that? Like that's crazy. Metro <laughs> Exodus again, also on Game Pass. No, but you could download. <laughs> Honestly, like the, the whole streaming thing only gets cool to me when it becomes like fucking on like mobile devices. I don't think I'll ever stream something like on my PC. That's dumb. You know what I mean? Because I'm already here. I'll just fucking play it like normally. You know what I mean? Right. I think like the whole streaming shit would be cool. Like if they get it working properly, like like mobily, like because I actually yeah. have like the opportunity to like to play games like on the go like that. So, um. But besides that, I'm not interested at all, man. I ain't checking it. Is this shit even available for like iPhones? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. Or like mobile phones? Like I'm so confused about this shit, bro. Like I need to do more research, I guess. I don't know. Find out, man. Launch it soon. Yeah. And um, what else? What else? What else? I think we got one more topic for the day, and that's pretty much it. Um, Modern Warfare is gonna have a battle pass system it's gonna have no loot boxes or anything like that but well that's i like a right. battle pass so I mean, everything is copy, copy, copy so, before, fortnite, man. so before yeah. fortnite was there anything that did battle passes no okay so i think uh, uh, i think, so. think this would be this might be a good move for games Call to of Duty. just do battle passes like instead of doing loot boxes i'll i'll, I'll get a battle pass can someone explain pass. to uh, me actually, what, no, what's like, a battle pass though like what is so that? basically so uh, so I'm, I'm incorrect dota 2 is doing battle passes i think before fortnite what is I it think. though okay so basically battle pass is like you pay 10 bucks and you can level up that battle pass to get specific items and bonuses and skins throughout the time you have that battle pass so they I know Dota would do it when there was like the majors going on, mm -hmm. and then you would have a battle pass. You'd pay ten bucks, and you could level it up, and then you would get specific skins and stuff like that. And throughout that time, as you level it up, but then in Dota two, you could pay more money to level up that battle pass. So people would just start dumping money into their battle pass instead of just playing the game to level the battle pass. So, I mean, it's it's a different way of doing microtransactions instead of like having a loot box. Um. Which I don't know, because at least when the battle pass, you can see the items you're gonna win as you complete, yeah. as you level it up. It's mm -hmm. not like, okay, so I just keep playing it and just buy it. It it makes more sense. It doesn't. F I haven't felt like it's like super egregious. Like Destiny Two has a couple of them that are kind of bad. Mm -hmm. But um, but that's about it. I mean, at least you know what you're gonna get when you're doing it. It's not like a full on gambling thing. But it's it, it becomes it becomes like a subscription though. If you think Pretty about much. it, yeah, and then every yeah, season yeah. you'll you'll just do a new one. Okay. I think if you're gonna have microtransactions in a game, I think battle passes is the best way as far as it besides loot boxes. 
because it's going to be in a game regardless nowadays. So it seems to be the most um, inversive way of doing it. I think yeah, it's the right word. That's a good it's word. not yeah, like it's not word. like in your face about it all the time. It's like, oh, you can get a battle pass. Okay, cool. Then just get on. Scoot on you know, by. You don't, like, you don't get many complaints with a battle pass because you see what you get with each milestone. Right. And it's just ten dollars. But the I mean, only thing is, yeah. every couple months, but but you got to play the game to get it. And you can kind of like unlocking things too, though. Pretty much, yeah. And you can you can complain about the quality of the battle pass, whether the items are good mm. or not. Um, but I mean, that's you know. Honestly, like these developers honestly just gave like. Gave us like a good service with these microtransactions. I think like people won't complain as much. Like how you guys are explaining like battle passes, it doesn't sound like too bad. You know, it sounds like a better option than maybe you know loot boxes and you know other shitty ass microtransactions. Like what Gears is doing. Like Jesus Christ, holy two skins yeah. for twenty dollars yeah, yeah, Canadian, yeah, yeah. almost twenty five dollars Canadian. Like that's crazy. <laughs> that's they, crazy. They, they need to do a battle pass system. Like that game is just bugging me because like I yo if you know me I love gears like if you really know me I love gears and I, I just what they're doing with like the content I'm not feeling it like like I said I prefer the gears for a loot box system than this shit that's going on right now be to be honest bro yeah like, I don't I don't like it at all yo I don't like it at all because you don't you don't win shit you don't get shit but stupid ass banners and stuff when you tag people and stuff like that like I don't, I don't yeah, like and, it these skins are trash the, uh, where's the car mines they're missing like where's all the classic skins they're gone not at launch like what's happening the robot is like part of a dlc pack or something not yeah now they're selling terminator all the, all the, yeah terminator yeah, yeah. um dlc it's a lot of push for this terminator in games you have you guys noticed that mortal kombat yeah. gears yeah, the, mov- the movie's like coming up yeah it's promotion yeah. A lot of promotion, man. I don't like that, man. Just shoehorning this shit. Like, I ain't gonna watch it, man. Like, cut it <laughs> out, bro. WWB, though. I, I ain't gonna watch it. Like, cut it out. The Terminator movie gonna be trash, and we know it, bro. Like, come on. <sighs> There's two good Terminator movies. I stand by that. And it's one and two. Yeah, of course. You want to some shit's trash. I can't fuck with them. <laughs> it's one and two. And I tell you this. I'll make the fight that one is actually better than two. Alex, you know what? I think you say a lot of silly shit. I agree with you. <laughs> I definitely agree with you, sir. I think what Terminator 1 that? is the better Terminator. Okay. I agree with that. Uh, we have to agree. Oh, shit. I haven't, okay. I haven't seen the films in so long. I actually recently downloaded Terminator 1 saying I'm going to rewatch it and, you know, refresh my memory. Oh, nice. It's been I'm a while since I've seen, seen the movies, yo. But that's pretty much all the topics that we have for, like, this fucking week, man. Like, I wanted to do a two-hour pod like we usually do, but, like, I have nothing else to really talk about. I'm scraping the barrel right now for these damn topics. So I guess we could take a few questions um, from the chat. Then we're going to do the outros um, and get out of here a little bit early, I guess. And you guys got to uh, get Concrete Genie? Ooh, no. Nah, Jack, nah, what's up, man? You the PlayStation man? I, I ain't want this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have to read. I have to read some shit. It, 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 it look alright. It doesn't I, look too bad though. It actually really don't. I think if I had like a PS Move, like if I had the VR, I'd probably be fucking with it. You know, it, it always look like a VR game from Jump. Like you know what it is? The VR it's it's like just stuff that I rather I rather play right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I see. Mm-hmm. So bad timing now. It's just bad timing. Yeah. I feel like I will pick up Car Katrina and I heard it's only like six hours long. And it seems yeah, like an easy I'm, I'm, platinum, I'm, I'm so like too. So I know Jack gonna be on that. I'll be on that too. But I'm gonna get it. But I'm gonna wait for like when it's a little, like a little bit more dry, I guess. Like to pick it up because yeah. I feel like I just have no like. It ain't. It ain't selling well, apparently. Yeah. yeah right, I'm gonna read some super chats here about it. Yeah. Um, Def Singer says real anime like Demon Slayer, anime of the year 2019. I started watching Demon Slayer. That shit is fire, yo. Definitely recommend I that too. It. It's really good. Black um, Clover is what I fucks with. Okay, Attack I heard on that Titan. show too. Attack on Titan is fire too, man. I love that shit. Come on, I love it. It starts shit. slow though. It starts that's slow. Not, that that story, is that story, crazy. yeah, that story's crazy that's, though. Facts. Yeah. That story's yeah, it's crazy. Unt- I haven't seen the craziest story, bro. I love it. Yeah, like that. That show is always like pulling at your heart. Overload is like, good too. Overload is good. You know, Attack on Titan is always pulling on your your heartstrings about like exactly. like there's no hope. Like you feel like you're like <laughs> like what they're gonna do, man? They screwed. Like you know yeah, what I mean? Right. What, they they always they give you a small this? glimmer of hope or a small chance, which like yeah, I like that. I like what they're doing with the story. Yeah, That's just that fire, man. Too, I love it. Yeah. Um, Death Singer again. Appreciate the donation. He says, "Right games coming for Blizzard over this a card game, yeah. hero shooter, fighting game, League of Legends to consoles 2020 and mobiles." Yep. Yeah, they're making a shooter. They're making a shooter. They're making a fighting game. They're making a card game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Mega says, what did y'all think of Joker? I've seen Joker. Anyone here watch nah, Joker? Joker is fire, so, bro. What is movie here? Oh, you watch it, Jack? Yeah, I went to theater. Damn, you went outside? Oh, my God. Yeah. That's crazy. Man, I, got a, I got a hot take. I got a hot take, and nobody right, is going to agree with me. Guess what? Joker is better than every MCU movie. Facts. Facts. Yo, I don't even... Oh, I don't want to do this, Jack. Nah, 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 nah. I'm right now. Facts. I'm fucking fuck with you. I'm fucking with you. Fuck nah, with you know the difference? Facts. You know the difference? We ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do that. I don't know what director that was that said that, but he made a good point. MCU one of the one of, one of the goats. Like, bro, like, the Joker is an actual film. Like, it's a movie you can watch, you can see, like, the MCU shit, bro, I can't nah, I think, it, I think, I think you, you, you dress bro. up to go watch the joke, you know what I'm saying? You take your lady, you dress yeah, up. Yeah, you put on a little yeah, suit. It's, it's, yeah, you know what I mean? It, it's an event, man. You want to go bro, take your kids. I don't think, look, I like Joker. Us, Disneyland, whatever. That's what I, I like saying. Joker MCU, a lot. you put on a dunce hat, you go oh, watch it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, bro. I like you, Joker you, you, you a lot. Go to, you go to Six Flags. It's not even the best DC movie. Let's keep it a buck. Dark Knight is still better. Huh? Dark Knight yeah, have you, is still better, bro. I like, you seen Joker? I like, I like, I like, I like I the Nolan. I like the Nolan. I, I don't know about that, bro. I seen Joker. Dark Knight is still bro, better. Joker. Facts. Joker's Joker a great movie, crazy, though. Bro. I think the storytelling was great. The acting was fantastic. Um, and what it, and what's crazy about it? In America, this shit hits home, man. Like, that's how these these fucking niggas are made. Like, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. If you if you like live in this area, that shit is crazy. Mm -hmm. It was actually it was it's actually crazy. a great movie. You know, I actually wanted more. I hope um he plays Joker again. It was it was really really dope. Um, but I still think Dark Knight's a better movie, man. I'm sorry to tell you, bro. Ooh, I don't know. Better man. better action movie, but like action. If you think about like a thriller or something like that, it's Joker. Yeah, man. like yeah, they're, they're the emotions different. you go through is, is is nuts. It's different, bro. The, be the best thing about Dark Knight is definitely Heath Ledger. After that, I really ain't got, you know what I mean? I don't know, bro. Y'all don't fuck with Christian Bale? No. Nah, not really. I don't think I think he's a honestly. great I think he's a great Bruce Wayne though. I think he's a great Bruce Wayne. He probably could be a better Batman. But the thing about the Dark Knight trilogy series, it kind of took a realistic approach of Batman though. Like, you know what I mean? It wasn't really too comic-y. You feel me? Like if you look that's at like Bane, it, yeah, yeah, that's why I like it a lot too. Like if you look at Bane and shit like that, it's nothing like the comics and shit like that. And you know what I mean? So same same with the Joker, you know what I mean? Like in the comics, yeah, is it really you, grounded? Yeah, it's grounded. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's grounded. It's too. like realistic. Right. If, if if it was in real life, how would it be a Joker would be? It'd yeah, be like it's this. grounded. You're right. You're right. It's definitely grounded. Yeah, I like I like that about the movie. It don't feel, it don't feel like supernatural type. Yeah, fucker. it's grounded. I don't even know it's a yeah. comic. Also, yeah. I like like uh, Michael, and, Keaton. And it, Michael Keaton is the best Batman, best Bruce Wayne, hands down. Oh, Michael Keaton, he good, he good. I'm trying Michael to think. Michael Keaton is the best one. Ain't that nigga blonde? Michael nigga Keaton. blonde Batman. Oh, no, you think about Val? Nah, yeah, I'm Val. Yeah, yeah, I got him confused. My FC Vinyl, let me tell you something, man. That sweater you got on. <laughs> yes, you know that sweater is what you wear when you get really fucking high, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, true, true, <laughs> true. Um, I think we got some other super chats. Let me read that real quick. Um, Nameless King says thoughts on the Switcher Three. You know, damn well no one the over Switch here bought that shit. But it seems like Anybody. most people, most people who are playing it, seem to be really impressed with the game in portable mode. Which, yeah. you know, further drives the fact that yo, the Switch. Look, if you get the Switch, you are playing that shit portable, man. It's a portable yeah. device, bro. That's the whole appeal of the whole device because you can play it on the go. You know what I mean? So. A lot of people seem impressed with it. Me personally, I'm good on I it. Can't. I did request a review copy. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. But I'm not. I'm not buying it though. Physical or digital? Go. <laughs> go ahead. Physical or digital? Uh, digital. Mm. I, I try to get a review copy. We'll see if I get it or not though. I mean, you, you can't. You can't play The Witcher three after you played it on PC, bro. That that's like that's like watching mm. shit on tube TV. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Like, paint, bro. <laughs> yeah. mm. That's a piece going of backwards, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. A lot of people, you know, I Dr. Trey swearing up and down. The game looks amazing, Doctor, bro. Like this guy has to be. I, I can expect <laughs> Trey. Trey's full of shit, bro. <laughs> I was, some of the cutscenes screenshots Trey, I don't gonna... look too bad, but like bro. them, them sex, some sections of the game in the open world look like terrible. Trey man. is the definition of cap, bro. I was in the <laughs> Discord the day Doctor Trey bought the game on PS4, bro. He played the game for thirty minutes and never played it. Wow. But, yeah, like bro, he's he don't care about that game, bro. Hey he man, don't. hey, hey, what it do, bro? <laughs> yeah, talking, I know. Talking to town, man. Nintendo, man, Doc Trey. 
Still holding Trey, it down. Trey's a goofy dog. How, how's the rest going? Shit, I forgot. I wanted to continue. Uh, Nintendo. They make the Trey best games. Nintendo is down. <laughs> Fuck, how does it go, bro? They make the best games, and you know this, bro. It's the truth. You don't like it? You, you can have that seat, seat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> then gunshots on you. Hold up, hold up, man. You gotta give Dr. Trey his props for that, man. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga's raw still, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, what you say in Canada? A waste, man. Yeah, waste, man. Nah. Yeah, you're a waste, nah, man. I fuck with Trey, man. I fuck with Trey, yeah. <laughs> Um, this one is from Toon Dead. That's how I believe you pronounce your name. Um, he said, Y'all need to watch Vinland Saga. Very underrated. Never heard of that before. Vinland I've heard, I've heard Sa- of before. Saga. I've heard of I think it's on Amazon. Um, anime, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to check it out. But that's pretty much it today for, you know, the podcast, guys. Sorry, there's not much to talk about, yo. Um, next week, hopefully... Um, there will be a lot more topics to discuss. We, I know games are coming out uh, between um, now and then, so it's going to be a good show. Also, Off the Record was pushed back um, until next week because we never got enough questions submitted at the time, but now we do. So Off the Record on Tuesday, so look forward to that. Um, we got another one from um, Ruffle Mutt. He says, anyone seen um, Beastars? Beastars or Dr. Stone? Mm-hmm. No, uh, I've heard I mean. I've heard of Doctor Stone, but I haven't heard of yeah. um, this B Stars or whatever. I feel like I ain't gonna say it, but I saw Doctor Stone. I, wa- I watched a little bit of it. Is it okay? Decent. It's it's it's, it's decent enough. It's it's very uh, educational. If you like science, you like oh, that show. Okay, but... I'm not really into like anime that has to do with like magic too much too, or like magic and shit. I like no, a, it's, I it's like very... underdog story anime. Like that's just me. I like under underdog <clears throat> story shit, yo. Yeah, it, like, he is. I mean, it's it's like it's alright. It ain't magic. It's real life. It's kind of like it based off of like real life, like chemistry. But oh, okay. I don't know. See, I, don't, I don't know about all of that. I need my action to be on point too. You know. Someone told me yeah. to watch that like a firefighter show or some shit like Fire Force. Or oh, some Fire shit. Uh, Fire Force is... or some shit. I don't know. I watch I watch like a snippet of it. It looks kind of corny to me. Like, come on, firefighters. Like. Uh, what's going yeah. on over there? <laughs> nah, it's a pull up anime though. They 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 buy hook every episode. So if you like, bump fight, all man. that noise. You gotta watch Top Boy. Pause. Top you Boy. Watch it. It's pretty fire. I keep yeah. hearing about this show. It's man. a Netflix. That's a Netflix show. Yeah. yeah. Shout oh, out to man. Drake for reliving it or re reviving that rather. Yeah. It's a good show. Though. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start watching it. I think. I'm yeah, start I need to check it out. I need to check it out. People talk. You might, you might need subtitles though if you don't listen to British yeah. stuff because you. They they speak mad fast. I see people in the chat saying show. I'm a casual anime fan. Is that is there anything wrong with being a casual anime fan? Is that like a? It's not wrong with that, bro. I'm just nah, I'm definitely I mean, a casual anime fan. I think I when it comes to casual anime fans and like the media, like they don't really like y'all input on anything. <laughs> well, why though? I've seen quite a few. I, I've seen um, Yu Yu Hakusho, Samurai Champlo. I've seen quite a few. So you're not, know, Ipo, you're, you're like you're probably Dragon a you're casual. Yeah, you, uh, you, you, you know what? You yeah. know what people say? The people say I watch a lot of shonen shit, bro. I only watch shonen shit, so they. they uh, you know, that's what they say. I mean, that's casual. That's He's an anime. Or, I'm okay being a casual anime fan. Like the hell. No, I'm okay the thing is, that. you're not you're not casual it, or literally an anime boomer. Yeah. You watch the yeah. old anime. No, but I've seen the Tri Guns. I've seen the that uh, Tri Gun is an old one. anime. The old huh? ones, yeah, it really is. Tri-Gun. That's a, that's old, that's, a, that's an old one. Yeah, I've seen Tri Gun. I've seen old. Cowboy Bebop. I've seen old. like old. Classics yeah. though, they're all classics. Yeah, like though. I feel like I've seen like the ones that I need to watch. Like I absolutely. Yeah. Roni Kenshin, you are, you are a. You seen enough to have an opinion. You are a boomer. You yeah. are a you boomer. Know, for I don't anime. know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's probably what it is. That's yeah. what it is. I'm okay with that, yo. It's okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah. They don't want to hear your opinion at all, bro. <laughs> it's funny. Kofi, they said Kofi watched Tsunami anime. Is that a bad thing? Y'all, 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 y'all need to put <laughs> me on, man. Hey, I don't know, man. Hey, 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 that's, that's the youth right there, bro. I used to watch that every <laughs> before the bus come through. Listen, yeah, watching my, uh, my Gundam anime was the best. Yeah, Dog, you know, I've seen the Inuyasha's. Uh, I definitely the Liger, was it Liger Zero? What else have I seen? Yeah, like, I've seen man, the anime, if you see, man. If you watch Attack on Titan, you all right with me, then. Yeah, that's I watched that. I, I definitely, I'm all caught shit. up. Shit, I even went to that. I even went to that manga to read ahead a little bit of that shit. That's yeah, I'm in a manga. I, that's the only manga I ever read. Like, cause the story was just too good for me to wait. There was one that I watched. It wasn't Vampire Hunter. It was one that I read. One that he was a vampire. Shit, man. I'll, I'll figure out sometime. Figure it out. All right, so let's go ahead and do the outro and get the hell. Yeah, out of Zoids. Here. Yeah, shout out to Zoids. 
Yeah. I feel like I heard of that shit. Is that the 3D model yeah. one shit? The 3D model, right? Like they had a little. That's what the. That's what the. That's what the. the Megazoid. Zero and yeah. Shit. Oh, I yeah, seen yeah. that shit back like in the day too, bro. I seen. Yeah, I remember that shit. Um, <laughs> what did Jamal Clark say? My dad used to beat me while I watched Tsunami. Damn, bro. That's what crazy. What the hell? Yeah, you gonna you gonna learn this anime? That nigga's like you gonna learn this shit. <laughs> you got that's, that's dad used dark. to beat you when you watch Tsunami. Shit, man. That's I'm, crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> though, you know, you know, you know, a dope like American style anime though, Castlevania on Netflix. It's fire. I started watching that shit. That shit was okay. That shit, is, that was shit okay is good, man. I didn't finish it though. I didn't finish. Yeah, it. you gotta finish it. It's, it's fire. Yeah. You know what I try to watch on Netflix that I absolutely hate? Um, Seven Deadly Sins. I can't stand it. Oh, you hate it? What? I don't like it. You hate <laughs> it? Ah, uh, bro. There's, there's this one character on this, like the like the straight OG of all characters. I tell you, I'm telling you. I don't like that show. The big, the big brawly motherfucker. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The, the, he gets his power from the sun and should be laughing at everybody. No, I didn't get, I didn't get, I didn't get far right. enough, but I didn't, I didn't like that show. Nah, that dude is, like that dude's hilarious. I know. I couldn't grab me. All right, so we're going to start off with our guests. I appreciate you guys for tuning into the podcast, man. Super average, um, FC Violent. Um, you want to start yeah, your outro, please? You got it, FC. All right, yes, sir. This is FC Violent. You can follow me on Twitter, FC Space Violent. Follow me on YouTube, FC underscore, underscore Violent, FC Violent, whatever. And I got a podcast on Monday called Vitamin G Gaming Podcast. You can check me out there, and you can check me on Twitter, man. Hit me, hit me up, man. I'll play on everything. All right, Super Average. All right, it's your boy, Super Average. You could just call me Super. I got a YouTube channel. I'm kind of f- trying to figure out what I want to do with it now. I'm just just kind of floating out there. But you can follow me at twitter.com slash super underscore average one. And, you can, and that, uh, also follow me on IG. And I'm also on Twitch, Super X Average. I kind of just variety around. So appreciate y'all for having me, Chris Stark. Yeah, thank, yeah, thanks for coming on. And um, people yeah, watching the it. chat, man, like if you guys want to see some new faces in here, um, you know, open to getting more different kinds of guests on the podcast. So hit me up on Twitter. Let me know who you want to see on the podcast. And I'm going a, I'm to a do my best to get them on. So I appreciate these guys for coming on for real. Really seem like really cool people. Definitely check out their channels. And we're going to start off with um, Jack. Do your outro. Uh, good podcast this week. Not a lot of topics, but we made it work. Uh, shout out to the guests for showing up. Uh, check out the Press Start podcast on Patreon. Uh, check me out. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. Twitter, YouTube. Jack Move Johnny. And uh, yeah, we appreciate y'all. Alex. Thanks, everybody, for coming out and enjoying the show. Uh, tomorrow is more God of War 2018. Okay. Uh, so I'm sorry for last week. Uh, my son started screaming and crying late at night, so I had to take care of him, so the stream was cut short. But uh, this week, we should be good. I want to get, like, maybe six to eight more hours into that game right now. I'm about four. So we'll see Definitely. how far I get. Definitely pull up to Alex streams of God of War. Should be entertaining. And um, make sure you guys check out J-Main um, at J-Main518 on Twitter. Check out his YouTube page and all of that. Um, it's in the it's in the description below if you guys need a link to that. So, you know, check out your boy J-Main. He's been putting up videos lately a lot. So definitely support the kid, man. Anyways, we out of here. Uh, we'll see you guys on Tuesday, um, the Patreons, and Thursday for everyone else. Until next week, man. Take it easy, guys. Peace.